that's all. Got it. So basically, I'm at the point now where I need to just build a bunch of shit. So let's see what I can build. All right. So I need to build a stator. We need to build two, ten of those. One. Two. Um, it's going to be a fun stream doing all this shit. I have a hell of a to-do list. Yep. Encased in industrial bin. I have a lot of stuff I need to build, if you can see there. Yeah. Gonna need a lot of ship. Lots of moving backwards and forwards as well. Which will be fun. But yeah, I'm doing actual recordings now, and I have I have changed the way that um, my um, recordings run. So they I'm recording just in ten uh, like 1080p. So all right. So what's next? High speed connector. Ooh. Lots of crafting. But yeah, why not come chat to me while I wait for this shit to happen? And listen to the cool musics. Hmm. Such exciting content. I do need to go get um, some more rubber though. So once I've cleaned up my inventory a little bit more, oh yeah, that's enough to get pick up probably what's whatever's over there. So after the high speed connectors, we'll. Uh, run over there and pick up some more shit. I need... how many of those do I need? 97 of them. Yes, like, I, I don't need to be doing this all manually, really, but like, I'm going to anyway because I just want to get all the research shit done like and it's just gonna take me too long to do the um to make a new mall mall basically oh you would think that at least I think that's it I think that's all I can do there's also Oh yeah, we need to get we need to make some more of those. Heavy modular frames. I also need to make um a bunch of uh, the sulfur powder whatever it is. Yeah, 
sulfur. Powder stuff. But I make that in here, don't I? Black powder, yeah. Add the to do list. How much black powder do I need? I need 1,642. 1,642. 1,000... what is it? 1,642. So half of that is, uh... 821. Yeah. What the fuck? Seriously? One six four two. Ah, that's close. I don't know why it does that. Ah, oh, and ah, so it'd be fourteen forty two. I wish that I really would like them to fix the to do list so it doesn't do that. <sighs> 1442. Yep, yeah, cool. And to do that, I need 721 coal and 721 sulfur. That's as much sulfur, sulfur as I can get. Such a mess in this room. I'm going to have to find some more sulfur as well. Yay! Sulfur. 
just left this his, this channel called Spoopy Kit, and she's here, um, interesting. With a emoji of a haha reindeer. Okay. What's this? How 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 are they interesting? Burnt Raichu? Burnt Raichu? <laughs> Alright, there's the, the, what are the, what are the, what do you call it? The, like that, it's a, they're, um, was it the Hot Tub Streamers? Isn't that like what, um, oh, what's her name? Amaranth or whatever does? How do I make second glance? Amaranth is horrible? I, 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 honestly, I don't watch much in the way of other, other streamers. Um, I tune into Nola from time to time. Pretty cool content. Why is that? I could have learned how to drive. Holy shit, that's a lot of money. I mean, those are American pesos, yeah? Holy crap. That's a shit ton. Fifty to a hundred. Wow, that's so much. Holy shit! How many cards do you get from that? I suppose that's why there's so much. Um, there's so many Kickstarters. <coughs> Pardon me. I love these chips. Well, I've changed the, the way my um, shit runs, so I'm hoping that that's gonna be a little bit better now. I'm still thinking about how I'm gonna have my um, VR working, because I, I really want to get my VR set up.
And the thing is, it's hard to stream VR because HTC Vive runs natively in, I think, 90 hertz, whereas um, OBS tries to stream at 60 frames, and so it uh, provide like, the GPU doesn't like it. So I've try I'm trying to get around this by running OBS through, or like, <coughs> running as many, <coughs> running my second monitor through uh, the um, onboard uh, uh, GPS, so the Intel GPS. Maybe that'll help. Who knows? All right. Oh, no plastic. Oh, I'm rude. How much rubber do I need? Nothing. I just need fucking... All right, well then, in that case... I cannot afford. Wonderful. Um, just this. Oh, that's shit tons in there. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna friggin' I'm gonna drain the this buffer. Oh, it doesn't matter too much. Maybe if I overclock it, I might overclock the, um, <coughs> the, uh, plastic production, maybe. Maybe that'll help. Just overclock everything. Oh yeah, definitely need to overclock the plastic production. I need to bring some rubber back. The plastic is what I really need right now. So I'm going to overclock the plastic production once I get back. Put some hyper tubes down. But it is fun to drive. Oh. 
the, the, the chance a grand of. I am trans a grande. <coughs> um, nothing at the moment. Um, I spent most of my prep time this morning, um, uh, changing my... I, I, I formatted, uh, my hard, one of my hard drives with a bunch of old, uh, VODs that, like, I'll never upload. Um, and changed my recording settings, so hopefully it'll take a lot longer to fill up those, uh, hard drives. I think it's, uh, what is it? Uh, it says disk full in 28 hours, what the fuck? Why is it, why is it like, recording at that fucking size? That's insane. I don't understand. I just need to get onto the, onto, into the habit of just uploading the VODs, I guess. <sighs> Irritating, but, meh. But yeah, not much on the agenda today, I'm just doing, doing what I do. Doing the last, uh, milestone. Pretty sure that's the last one. Milestone reached. Improved pipe For this, um, section. ...capable of handling increased throughput of any fluid, as well as providing increased pressure handling for better vertical transport, respectively. Um, yeah, I've got all of the tiers unlocked. I need to do elevator phase three in order to continue any further. Um, yeah. Make some more encased industrial beams. But yeah, I'm just winging it today. Just winging it. There we go. But yeah. Um, I just found out um, that uh, the UK has a new... Um, the, the UK uh, has a new Prime Minister, which is fucking hilarious. Um, let me show you. This is... this... this... Mm. Um... Mm? Ah, there we go. Um... This is this is amazing. Amazing. This this just this the this is this is the new prime this is the new British Prime Minister. In December, in December I'll be in, I'll be Beijing, in Beijing, opening, opening up, up new, new pork, pork markets. markets. Fucking hell! Fucking hell! What the fuck are you doing over there in Britain? Fucking hell! That's insane. Oh my gosh. With the VATS overlay. Oh no. Thingamajigs. Hey Changmarai! Welcome back! How are ya? I need to make a uh, 200 iron rebar, don't I? Yeah. How are you today? How are you today? Why does this feel like it's off? Right. It, it is. Why? Looks like someone is triggered again. Uh oh. Who's triggered? Oh no, this is the quartering. Oh fucking hell. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, um I I'm I'm seeing like a disturbing amount of like white people starting to comment on like the whole like is Keffel's racist um stuff. And it's just like, alright, come on, let's like pull back white people. Come on, come on, let's 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 not. Please, let's not. Let's What's not going on, everyone. Jeremy and Doc here on this uh, wonderful Labor Day, oh? uh, lamenting what I kind of thought was going to happen. We talked about this last week. Uh, it was a very big victory for uh, online freedom of speech. Usually when you're a free speech advocate, you are pressed. You are tried. Wait, 
free speech. All right, so um, let me preface this again. You're back. You you and you fly back tomorrow. Fuck. What what went wrong on what what's gone wrong? What's up? What's up? Not feeling too good. Sounds like. Your phone got stolen? Fuck that! What happened? Why did that happen? What? What? Fuck! Oh, I can make a jetpack soon. Circuit board and plastic. Add. Add. That's not good. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Your support of free speech. But yeah, um, free speech. Americans, like, you, you, you treat this, the, you treat this word free speech as if it's like, this is, this is the issue I have with so many, um, uh, like, talking to Americans about shit because americans talk about freedom of speech as if it's like some sort of god-given right and the term god-given right makes no sense um that's just bullshit that's you that's circular logic i have the right to freedom of speech because i have the right to freedom of speech like sorry not sorry but like claiming that there is a higher power that gives you the right to say and do whatever you want is just not good enough like at all like it's not good enough like you, you, that's not a thing is it free speech if it is it free as peach when, when you have to pay for the internet yeah like what 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 the fuck do you think freedom is do you like <clears throat> someone needs to do a what is a freedom um documentary um and interview some right wingers to to basically do do the same thing that they tried to do that Matt Walsh tried to do with what is a woman like just point out how they don't actually understand what freedom means and what it means to have a freedom to do something because at the end of the day freedom is not given to you by god it is not something which is self-evident and objective um it is something that we agree to well changmarai like there is no such thing as free speech as americans put it because it is so, such a they treat it with such a like generic sort of like way they 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 they, they make it sound oh shit i went the wrong way but yeah uh, they make it sound, they, they use, the, instead of, like, coming to terms with what freedom of speech might mean, they use it, try to use it as an excuse so that they can say whatever the fuck they want, whenever they want. That's the truth of freedom of speech. It's like, freedom, your freedoms are what you take by force from the world around you and what you agree to have with um society like society informs your freedoms as much as you inform the society of your freedoms like it is it is a constant struggle between the state and you your freedom ends where my face begins at the end of the day as well you don't have the freedom to say whatever the fuck you want because I will knock your fucking head off in Minecraft if you say something I don't like. That's just 
fucking how it is. And crying about like God giving you free speech. I'm sorry, I ain't going that that ain't gonna cut it with me. I don't believe in the same God as you, obviously. I don't believe in this in this ridiculous um fucking all all of the benefits but none of the responsibilities mindset that um Americans seem to have around freedom. Like Americans take freedom from other countries. They take people's they take they literally take the money and resources from countries outside of the US. They remove financial freedoms from people in other countries. Um, crying about being able to say what you want on Twitter or like do whatever the fuck you want without having any uh, consequences or responsibilities is the most childish and fucking privileged bullshit I, I can think of. It's so beyond the pale. It's so, like, ridiculous. What would If your child turned to you and said that they can say whatever the fuck they want because they have freedom of speech, what the fuck are you going to do? Are you going to, like, say, oh, yes, actually, yes, God gave you that right for freedom of speech. Ah, yes, quite a smart young child. What the fuck do you think they're going to grow up to be like? Fucking hell, you don't want to do that. No, no, no. No fucking Xbox for you this weekend. Good luck. Good, good good luck with that, buddy. You don't why would you want your child to like grow up to be like a shit cunt like that? I know why I wouldn't want my kid to be like that. I don't know. Seems like Americans don't understand the priorities or the or want to take responsibility for the actions they take. Not only abroad, but also in their own fucking backyard, in their own fucking homes. They don't want to take responsibility. It's all about this. Fr these fr fr my freedoms of speech warriors are just comfy little fucking conservatives and libs, like who've never had to actually fight for their freedom for for any of their rights or freedoms. They've never had to, they've never seen their rights or freedoms ta being taken away before. And they consider being, they consider having to take responsibility for their actions to be some form of fucking, um, some, some form of fucking punish, like, not punishment, but like them getting their freedoms taken away when really, you did a bad thing. We need you are making people's lives worse. Um, uh, we don't want you to do that anymore. Goodbye, bye, bye, Felicia. Like, oh, my freedom of speech, my cancel culture, the mind controls. Like, fucking, then just don't be shit. I'm so sick of hearing about freedom of speech as if anyone who uses that term has any idea what speech or freedom means. Because both are fucking complicated terms. And the people who use the who throw around terms like freedom of speech have never fucking engaged in any kind of critical thought over what freedom actually is and how you get your freedoms because they've never had their freedoms taken away from them before and hopefully they never will but yeah let's see what uh this this american has to say about Freedoms. Just tried by the Fr worst kind of speech. Not the 99.9999999% of speech that most people will ever encounter online, but usually the worst stuff. And, and, and gaslighting pro-censorship weirdos will come around and say, 
well, here's something horrendous. Do you support that? It's very easy to not. It's this idea that if you are pro-free speech, that you must support all speech. You must agree with all speech. It is a way that gaslighting censorship goons. Okay, so like, what the fuck? What, what I would like him to explain what his definition of gaslighting is. I'd like him to explain what his definition of freedom is and what, what he thinks speech is. Will get people to waver and like question their own support of free speech. There are all sorts of things that are said by all sorts of people that are awful that I don't support, but I support their right to say it. And what they do is they put you on, they try to put you up with them to say, oh, Andrew Tate said this terrible thing and, and the quartering supports Andrew Tate. No. Well, yes, he's a. I support freedom of speech. Oh, the quartering supports the farms where they put, they say horrible things about uh, 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 protected groups. No, I just support their ability to say it and okay so you don't understand what freedom of speech is obviously obviously he thinks that freedom of speech is like this sort of like god-given right to say whatever you want and profit off of that and uh, to not like come to any consequences for your actions freedom of speech in america is is legislation to stop the government from infringing upon the rights of the individual to speak up um, about against the government and to have a um, voice in the discourse. It has nothing to do with a private corporation taking you off their platform because your toxic behavior is not profitable for their operation. It's a, not what you think it is. Freedom of speech in America is not what freedom of speech warriors think it is. They, freedom of speech warriors think that you should be able to say whatever you want and not have to, um, have, not, not have to face any consequences for your actions. And if I'm wrong, then, like, how do you justify speaking out against people who are literally scamming people that you're, you, uh, Mr. Quarter Pounder, and care, seem to care about, the gamers and incels, you know? Like, these men need help, they, these men need, need attention, these men need to be treated better, I agree, but, like, you're sticking up for someone who literally just treats them like a money-making operation like they don't you don't he doesn't you know, like andrew andrew tate does not care about um the men that he scams he's he's a misandrist he like tries to make he, he gives bad advice to incels um so that they'll never get girlfriends and uh when they they face more and more ostracization from the wider community it makes it easier and easier to um insulate um them within the uh cult like cult of personality that is created around himself like that's how this shit works and it's not about like it's not about helping people it's about making money and the one thing that stayed consistent around andrew tate around this entire time has been like he just wants to make money so no this is not a freedom of speech issue you fucking idiot the government has nothing to do with uh, andrew tate being banned off of corporate channels um obviously there's another conversation to be had over whether um private corporations have the right to silence uh, dissenting opinions because at the end of the, the day um <laughs> At the end of the day, um, as long as we live in a capitalist system, that they're, they're just going to do it according to that system, according to you know their your your fucking free market bullshit that you believe so much in. Like this is just going to continue to happen under a capitalist system. But yeah, sure. Tell 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 us about how much it's a freedom of speech issue without it being anything to do with freedom of speech. Uh, we had a huge, what felt like a huge win last week. 
and predictably but still at the beginning i'm just ranting about week. it i'm gonna get into it after a super quick word from this video sponsor huge shout out to this video to get private internet access to all sorts of more programming that you probably didn't know that you could get for free get access so to basically kiwi farms is getting uh fucked over um from like and and being like you know classified as a um uh i think has kiwi farms been classified as a uh terrorist organization what is it uh kiwi farms terrorist oh my gosh FBI said something, yeah. Well, I mean, like... Yeah, Kiwi Farms has, uh... Yeah, Cloudflare... Cloudflare, um... Um... Has, uh, dropped, uh, Kiwi Farms, basically. So basically, there's um, so Kiwi Farms is basically just a stalking website, which you know, if it wasn't online, if it was just a group of people stalking people in real life, that would be a crime. But since you know we still don't have like proper laws around <sighs> online privacy and all of that sort of stuff, like it, and and people think people are conflating freedom of speech with like uh, freedom for freedom with, from responsibility. Um, as long as that continues, you know, um, the, these sort of problems are going to be handled by corporations instead of governments. Which I don't know why people want that, but people are fucking weird and they think that capitalism is good for them um don't ask me to explain that that's just i don't know when you when you grow up in a place which teaches you how things work in that particular way then maybe that's that's an explanation with within itself do all sorts of more programming that you probably didn't know that you could get for free. Um, like I said, Kiwi Farm is a website dedicated to stalking um, online personalities and trying to get people to commit suicide and also doxing and um, yeah, it's 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 basically just it's basically just another um, GamerGate site. It's just another GamerGate, just another GamerGate. Now, on September 3rd, after issuing a bold statement the week before, a couple days before, yeah. Cloudflare, this site that had kind of protected uh, this forum from DDoS attacks and all that. Mm. This is one thing that everyone seems to oh, private totally corporation. Fine DDoS this website because there's, there's words on it that we don't like. There's all sorts of stuff like that going on. But there is actual harassment and actual crimes like happening like this is not a freedom of speech issue this is like people sending swat teams to people's houses um and like which is fucking dangerous people can die people can die from that expecting the left to be you know consistent is ridiculous um but i don't know, you know we're I, came... I don't know what's not consistent what's not consistent about this out, uh, or, or somebody at cuba farms came out and said or at uh cloud cloud Clock yeah, clock. like a fortune. No, no, we're not going to take the site down. Well, two days later, yep, they took but the site less, down. But with less pedophili Black pedophilia, farms, I think. Visitors to any of these sites that use any of Cloudflare services will see Cloudflare's block page and a link to this post. And that's true. If you try to go to the website, you get this. Cybersecurity security by Cloudflare. What happened? Due to an imminent and emergency threat to human life. We didn't see any of that, by the way. And from what I've seen... Um, the admin of that forum has denied these claims and has asked for evidence and i don't believe any has been provided at least at this point but who's who's surprised right so you try to go to the website you get this and then why okay so like but 
Um, they don't have to prove shit. <laughs> they don't have to prove shit. It's their pro. It's their. It's their platform. Like what? They don't have to prove anything. What are you talking about? Why they blocked it? So drive pictures to their own or drive traffic to their own blog, I guess. Their site may move sites to other providers and in doing so come back online, but we've taken steps to block their content from being accessed through our infrastructure. Mm -hmm. This is an extraordinary decision for us uh, uh, to make and given Cloudflare's role as the internet infrastructure provider, a dangerous one that we are not comfortable with. However, the rhetoric on the farm site and specific targeted threats have escalated over the last 48 hours. Yeah, and that's no right. Monkey game from the room, from the moon, like, like the people that uh, he's talking about, I'm just like looking at who who are on the right of me. So I'm just like, ha, huh, I'm not, I'm not one of them. <laughs> Divided. You would think that like, I like them I mean, more than I'm you, but they're going to fucking hell. Libs will march next to Nazis. Mark out, my fucking words. You should probably back in fact, it up. In fact, in fact, not will have and do like yeah i've seen libs marching with nazis in my lifetime it's so yeah 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 uh, don't you think i mean if you're gonna say these are escalating threats where... with with my own eyes in my own country in my own city i've seen this just thinking about that now is kind of like Fucked, but hey, yolo. What, what can, can you show me some so I know like where where Cloudflare's line actually is? No, what the On August 5th, I was woken up by London police services pointing an assault rifle in my face at my home. I was okay. There you go. There you go, Jeremy. This really was uh, was the consistent media pressure. And this whole yeah. like, oh, well, what, Jeremy, do you, have, do you support all the terrible things they do to the trans people? Child, please. They had a whole long thread on me there, which listed my personal home address and Tara said terrible. Um, it's the gamification of it, I think. Um, SGR and like it just just you really see this in conservatives like Jeremy and other like sort of like you know like younger conservatives. They 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 don't grow up. I don't think I don't think they grow up past the idea the the idea that they shouldn't have to they shouldn't have to be responsible for anything they that they do and they should just have everything um and like they don't get everything they want um and like everyone else they look around for an answer to why they don't get everything they want and then they blame other people uh like Keffels um and trans people um, and basically easy targets, uh, because trans people are, the, uh, are some of the easiest targets at the moment, um, especially black trans women, like, the, and, and other uh, minority trans women, like, getting, getting it, like, the worst. Um, and so they try to get us to commit suicide. Like, the amount of times people have told me to 42% myself is, like, fucking insane. And, like, that's just life. And if... I get that. See, like, I am treated very well, okay? I don't want to mince words about this. I am privileged up the fucking wazoo. I have a very feminine face, facial structure. My voice might be fucked, but, like, I am relatively attractive. And that matters pretty privilege is a thing white privilege is a thing like i don't like a white trans woman is very unlikely to be have the same experience as like a minority person 42 percent myself yeah it's based on um a um particular study um uh, professor deshne at all um talking a follow-up study from the 80s people who uh of transsexual people that um 
uh, transitioned in the 80s and just following up with them to find out whether, you know, transition for them, um, or as they called it back then, like sex change uh, surgery uh, helped them or hindered them. And uh, they found that there was like a 42% um, uh, rate of suicide within that focus group. Um, the study itself also suggested based on their some of their findings and also other studies around the same time found uh, like uh, came to the not the conclusion but like it may basically suggested that mental health and uh, social stigma played uh, the largest role and especially and also follow-up studies from people such as professor Dashne at all and other people involved in, in in the study of these things found that um familial support and social support um has a much like as in positive uh gender affirming support from society and the people in your community has a humongous like benefit for people like in drastically reducing the uh, suicide uh, rate of trans people but no like they'll take the 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 article that disagrees with their very point and uh say that tell you to use it to tell you to kill yourself in a way that's all funny and stuff um completely going against the the meaning of that study like literally conservatives will take a study which says the opposite of what they're trying to say and cherry pick data it's like it's 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 one of my favorite favorite study to go to when it, when i'm trying to explain how people don't understand how to read articles properly um conservatives and a lot of libs are illiterate past the results section because they'll read data points as if they understand what the data points mean and ignore the discussion from the people that actually did the studies and the conclusions and also any other um, like references within the study as well. And they won't be able to, they, they, people don't even know um, how to tell whether a study has been peer reviewed or not. Like, and that's a problem with the media as well, because oftentimes media releases will will release um, uh, media will report on pre-release uh, articles which haven't been peer reviewed yet. So, like um, several um, studies into ivermectin um, were um, uh, publicized by the media. Um, they were not peer reviewed, and they did not end up passing the peer review process because they were just shitty studies they found out that oh these studies are shitty and people still today point to these studies in order to try and point to um like purport an anti-vaccine message um and these studies never passed the peer review process they've been debunked like you know people still believe that vaccines cause um autism wild people are fucking wild well things about me too okay it was probably the site that the people used to swap me and i'm still standing here defending it all right i'm not defending putting people's addresses out i'm not defending doxing people i'm not defending some of the heinous things. yes you are you are you're literally defending the ability for people to do that Conservatives can just say whatever the fuck they want, can't they? Things they said, but I am defending their right to say it and their right to exist. But I well, yeah, then you're defending it. You're defending their right to say those things and to then to swat you. Like you, that is such a amazing cognitive dissonance. Like, freedom of speech is not a real thing, and I'll tell you what it is, there's a word for it, it's called a, um, a thought terminating cliché. So a thought terminating cliché is a phrase that you'd use when you come to a point of cognitive dissonance within your speech. So, saying, I don't defend their speech, but I defend their ability to do it, that is a contradiction, right? You are supporting 
people's ability to dox and attack people into committing suicide and into sending SWAT teams to their houses. You are defending people's rights to do that. Rights. Um, when there's no legal entity in the world which uh, protects them from doing those things. All of these people, um, if they their actions were brought out into court, provably would be convicted of you know terrorist actions, um, um, hate speech actions, um, uh, stalking, and swatting. Like these things that you are talking about are crimes, buddy. They are crimes and they endanger people's lives. You are defending the right. The rights of people to uh, literally direct violence towards people. That is a major cognitive dissonance, and the way you get around this is they use a phrase, a catch-all phrase called freedom of speech. It's just a thought term and cliche, it's meaningless. It's meaningless. They don't understand what it means. They just say, oh, you know, oh, it's freedom of speech, freedom of speech. you don't believe in freedom of speech. Like, Next time someone brings up freedom of speech to you, when, uh, press them on it. Get them to explain what it means and watch as they w try and weasel their way out of an explanation. They'll just, they will tell you, oh, you don't believe in freedom of speech, that's pretty fucking blah blah blah. blah. I, give it, I give it maybe two or three um, sentences uh, between before God's, Godwin's law comes into effect and they start calling you a Nazi. Like, they will not give you a definition for what freedom of speech is. Because they don't know it. They've never actually engaged with the idea. The point is, the phrase isn't there to mean anything. The phrase is there to cancel out the cognitive dissonance of defending violent actions against other people. It's the same as when Christians um, talk about, um, like, Christians believing that, that what well, fundamentalist Christians believing that Jewish people go to hell simply because they're Jewish. Because that's consistent with fundamentalism. That's consistent with fundamentalist um, uh, Christianity. Um, and you, when you press them on this, they will use the thought terminating cliche that I'm not doing anything, they chose not to follow God, therefore, you know, that's, the you know, God's doing this, God is sending them to hell, God made the rules, I didn't make the rules, God did! No, fuck you, if you think, if you believe in a God that would willingly send people to hell just for having a different religion, then your God is shit, and he's not worth following. Honestly, why would you believe in a God like that? I don't. My God's better than yours. My God doesn't send people to hell for that. My God can beat the shit out of your God. My bad. My dad. My God works for Nintendo, and and he says that Jewish people go to heaven. So fuck you. I mean, that's like an impossible thing for these new, <sighs> the new liberal. You know, when I called myself a liberal when I was 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. If you were like uh, against big tech, uh, you were against big pharma, and you were against censorship. So the idea of suddenly being like pro censorship is really weird. And I think I'm coming from a. I am 100% pro censorship if it improves the lives more, if, if it improves the lives of people. Like, wh why would you not be for this? My God's Japanese, yeah. <laughs> My god have bigger pee pee. My oh wait, 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 wait. Oh, I need I need this. I need this. I need this. I, but, yeah. This is my god. This is my god. My god is a one what is it? This is a one from God it rains from heaven above. <laughs> All praise my Giga Chad God. What is it? How is that song? Is a an awesome gun. Yeah. Our God is an. Da, 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 da. Our God 
is a giga chad god he reigns from heaven above with wisdom power and love my god is a giga chad god woo uh uh yeah break it down break it down yeah mm, 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 mm. hallelujah amen my god can kick the shit out of your god Honestly, if your god sends people to hell for not believing in him, fuck your god. Fuck him. Like, I'm not following that god. Spit in his face. But my god loves people no matter what. So, fuck you. A unique position here on talking on it because, you know, I'm not just saying, oh, it, you know, it's not something that doesn't affect me. It does. The idea that, you know, escalating threats. I mean... Yeah. Where? Where? Hey, you literally just said that you got probably got swatted from people who visit this forum. You gave your own example. I gave you this example, Kevils. Like that, that. That's. I got. There's two. There's two for you there. But no, you don't you don't consider swatting to be an illegal action for some reason because you understand the American constitution and law so well. Fucking dumbass. I provide security services to them, protecting them from DDoS and other unit. cyber attacks. We have never been their hosting provider. As outlined West Wednesday, we do not believe in terminating security services is appropriate, even to revolting content. And we're in a law respecting world, the answer to even illegal content is to not use other means like DDoS attacks to silence it, essentially calling them out a little bit, saying like, hey, you clowns are the ones DDoSing them. This is not okay either. But, you know. No. Bad Kiwi farms. Stop doxing. Stop it. Stop. 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 Stop doxing. Fucking hell, yeah, because that's fucking working really well. Um, you know, you know, um, uh, was it Libs of TikTok got banned from, um, my god, have longer PowerPoints than yours? <laughs> yes. Um, like, um, uh, you know, Libs of TikTok, right? They got banned off Twitter, um, because they're basically inciting, um, stochastic ter terrorism against children's hospitals, uh, at the moment. And, Yes, yes. Uh, they they basically said, yeah, if I if they get unbanned, they're going to continue doing that to other children's hospitals. They're like gloating about the fact that they got like bomb threats um, sent against children's hospitals over over this fucking trans transgender um, bullshit that they that they like created out of nothing. Yep. Yeah, yeah, telling them off, giving them a slap on the hand, like, what the fuck are you talking about? You're like, oh yeah, let's just tell them, let's just say, oh no, stop, 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 stop doxing, oh, oh no, 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 stop the, stop the doxing, fucking hell, what the fuck? That is beta! Only wrong tact, only, never wrong tactics, only wrong targets, I think is, uh, essentially what the modern kind of pro-censorship era is all about. They don't care about doxing when it's the lit- How can you be, like, against censoring sites that, like, sites and individuals that actively endanger the lives of other people? I don't fucking get it. Can someone please explain? America, I am confusion! ...of TikTok, they don't care about, um, you know, DDoSing when it's the farms, but if it was, like, a website for trans folks, it would be the worst thing ever on the planet, ever. Well, yeah, because the the trans people aren't trying to dox and... Like, trans people, for one, aren't a monolith, like... That's just a description of, like, an identity, like, we're not, like, a group. There are groups that advocate for trans rights, I mean, like, let's, let's have a look at those. We can look at uh, groups that advocate for trans rights. Is that who you're talking about? Because, like, we don't, they, they don't, um, uh, engage in any of the, um, uh, like, terrorist and, uh, violent attacks on, like, insert 
identity group here? Like, who would trans people attack? Because you don't care about the kids who are trans. You both want them to commit suicide and not be trans. So, like, you, there, there's another thought. There's another um, um, fucking contradiction there for your logic. There's another um, uh, cognitive dissonance for you to come up with a uh, thought terminating cliche for. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, the, the the groomer fucking narrative. That's the thought terminating cl cliche there. Yeah, you don't care about the kids. You care about the label that you apply to all trans people. But that's beside the point. You're talking about you brought up trans people, right? As a general rule, we're not doing what Kiwi Farms does. That's not. That's a non sequitur. That is not that has one thing has nothing to do with the other if there was a ddos attack on a transgender advocacy site that stood up for trans rights and were trying to improve the lives of transgender people around the world that would be a problem because they're doing good things for people whereas kiwi farms w what are they doing for people other than like inciting violent acts against minority groups transgender people aren't doing that as a whole transgender organizations aren't doing that and if there is one that is actually actively doing that please point it out to me because i haven't seen it are you talking about one individual transgender streamer because that's not all trans people. You fucking idiot. I don't even have to fucking like come up with arguments for these people. They just destroy themselves. As soon as you figure out their thought terminating cliches, you can basically just defeat them with their own arguments. It's amazing. If they can't see their own hypocrisy. Pressure, Speaking of which. The, as the pressure campaign has escalated, so did the rhetoric on the farm site feeling attacked. Users of the site became even more aggressive. Over the last two weeks, we have proactively reached out to law enforcement in multiple jurisdictions, highlighting what we believe to be potential criminal acts and terrible threats. Again, we don't know. And look, and we know that it's entirely possible that people who are members of kind of this de-platform campaign very well could have went on there and posted those things themselves. I'm not saying that they did or that I know they did or whatever, but... You know, there's got to be some sort of investigation. I saw one of the last threads I saw was the admin of the website outlaying this new, a brand new user who had come on and done like, you know, some terrible posts in which they were banned almost immediately. Um, so, you know, it's, it's, it's interesting. They wrote, finally, we are aware and concerned that our action may only fan the flames of this emergency. The website itself will likely find other infrastructure that allows them to come back online as did mm -hmm. these other websites after we terminated them. But you need to understand that deplatforming de these uh, people does actually have an effect on this stuff. It does actually um, have a use. It is useful. It does hinder people's abilities to, um, to, to reorganize. Like when you take down infrastructure, it damages people because the internet moves so fast. And as soon as people forget about it, it's gone. It's gone. As soon as people lose interest, um, or like, you know, leave it, like it, it just it just becomes less of a, less of an issue, basically. Blah blah blah. Um, and even if they don't, the individuals that use the site to increasingly be mean. We will, we will feel even more isolated and attacked and may lash out further. There is real risk by taking this action today. We may have further heightened the emergency. But you still did mm -hmm. it. You know, you yeah. still did it. Yeah. Now they move to a uh, Russian domain. Essentially, from what I'm understanding, <clears throat> is a site is having yeah. trouble staying online because of people illegally DDoSing it. Mm-hmm. That's that's what I how I understand when I read this. So swatting to the quartering, not 
not a problem, not illegal, perfectly fine, it's freedom of speech. DDoS attacks, that's illegal! Attacking my freedom of speech! Oh my gosh! It's like, what a, dude, freedom of speech! What about, hey, what about my freedom to be able to do DDoS attacks against people? Like, that's, if you want to take, do you want to take my freedoms away? You want to take my, my freedoms away for, like, DDoS attacks? <gasps> oh my gosh! Alright, so the quartering has gone woke. Confirmed. And you have, you know, Cloudflare blocks security firms do immediate threat. Show me one. If you have all this evidence, why can't you post a You are one, you fucking dumbass. Literally any of it. It's so sus. The Voldemort of anti-trans websites. It's not an anti-trans website. It's a website that essentially memes on lol cows or people they deem to be lol cows. Okay, so lol cows are people that they try and milk for content and then try to commit, make them commit suicide from abuse and uh, stuff like that. They have succeeded in several ways, several times. And um, the, the website does uh, attack trans people. It is an anti-trans site. So, lie, misinformation. Oh, it's just jokes. Like, seriously, we've, th th these things, like... It comes up again. It comes up again every single time. Like, there's cognitive dis dissonance. Like, they're, they're joking around, but they're causing actual pain. Oh, what's the what's the thought terminating cliche? It's a cliche. It's just jokes. It's just jokes. Fuck you. It's just jokes when someone... I guess it's just jokes when someone punches you in the face. It's just jokes because people find that funny. People would find that funny in Minecraft. If someone punched you in Minecraft in the face, like, people would find that funny. So it's just jokes. It's just jokes, yeah. my dude. It's just jokes. It's far from exclusively trans people. If you'd spend any time on the forum at all, you'd know that. But again, the media knows when you use the certain words, suddenly their lives mean more than the lives of everyday regular people. What do you mean? Uh, you know, am I, am I, I don't think that. Kiwi Farms was born out of harassment. It was created so that the users of 4chan and something awful could have a dedicated place for their years-long harassment of a single autistic trans woman, and then expanded out to find more targets. Do you want to talk about that? Do you want to talk about that? Like, it is on the screen in front of you. As soon as it gets to the point, and like, seriously, like, this is the point at which he, like, clicks out of the article because he knows that it, it completely goes against his point. So, uh, simply writing about Kiwi Farms was enough to attract the attention of its users, and that attention was scary enough to dissuade reporters from covering the site. A French language article on Vice from 2020 describes their methods in depth. To summarize, potential targets were posted by, about by individual users. The site's users would, then, would decide as a group on whom to focus for harassment. This harassment included online death threats, rape threats, and name-calling, harassment via email and text messages, and aggressive doxing. Family members of targets received, I mean, like, I assume it goes on, but, like, he clicks out of it uh, before he can, like, engage with the actual information. But, like, he knows. It, it's, 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 it, none of this is real. This is, none of this is real. I'm sorry. Like, he's not dumb. Construction. Sorry. You can't hear it, but I can. Um, yeah. My... They, all of these things are, are illegal actions that that people's ability to hide behind an, anonymity like allow them to continue them. You, this is not a free to freedom of speech issue. I I already fucking destroyed that before we, before uh, the quartering even started talking. So yeah. Uh, you know, am I am I? I don't think that there's any reason to celebrate this. And again, I say that as somebody who's had to deal with some of the worst that the, that, that site has had to offer. Um, people using information posted there to uh, harass me or per, per, perhaps they used it to, to, to swat, I don't know. There are lots of people saying, 
you know, oh, there's all sorts of, you know, people who have taken their lives because of this forum. Um, it's been linked, they say. No actual evidence at all. I know, right? But at least this one's fun to talk about. See, in my life, there is a family emergency. There's absolutely nothing to do with the forum drama. I cannot and will not elaborate further. This There will be a week or more where I'm completely unavailable, and it's likely the site will go down during this time where I will not be able to bring it back up. I want to appraise our situation, frankly. Domain registrar Cloudflare was our application-level DDoS mitigation and our domain registrar. They have given me a way to transfer my domain to another registrar. I do not know what registrar to send it to because I don't have faith in any company. DDoS guard will drop us, will drop us, dropped us while I was writing this post. This meme about Russia being free country is a joke. The U.S. is a free country, but with no stewards to protect it. Without the U.S., there is no second best. I did not expect Cloudflare to crumple so quickly. I don't have a plan C for the DDoS mitigation. Again, DDoSing well, is you know, flooding a site with traffic to keep it down, to bury the servers. Resource allocation. I own IP addresses. Our IP allocation is for from Apnic. It's one of five private companies that allocate these type of things. Drake, draconian censorship laws. I mean, yeah, yeah, we do have those, but like still, that's still fucking old, old timey speech. My gosh. I mean, I'm guessing that they will be back, but I think it's pretty hilarious that everyone's totally fine with all the D be back. More importantly, they want to make it that no small organization can host a service which threatens, threatens the cathedral. It used to be that one guy with a good idea could open a platform. The idea was to harass trans women into committing suicide for your own fun and enjoyment. <laughs> what? How is that a good idea? Who is that a good idea for? Jeremy, stop clicking away from the juicy, juicy shit. Fucking hell. But I think it's pretty hilarious that everyone's totally fine with all the details. Also, also definitely coffeebrandcoffee.com. Support the channel. His coffee company um, is is it's relabeled um, relabeled coffee uh, from a uh, LGBT friendly um, company that makes the coffee that he rebrands. LGBT friendly. Um, uh coffee like with all all owned owned fully by women um it's a very very woke company so like yeah it's a uh, support support uh lgbt aware awareness thank thank you to the quartering for being so like socially aware i going on and all sorts of stuff like this um they're fine with that a D, you know, you see a DDoS guard representative has confirmed that the company dropped Kiwi Farms without waiting for an official notice, citing a non-compliance with their accept acceptable use policy and a multitude inquiry from. If a company wants to drop you, they will. You have no recourse. Ordinary users. Why is nobody looking into who's doing all this DDoSing, which is, I assume, some level of crime? Well, it's because they agree with who it's being done to. It's truly nothing to celebrate at all. And the people that are... Well, yeah, obviously. Obviously, we want bad sites to be taken down and bad things to happen to them. The government's doing fuck all. You're crying about freedom of speech without understanding what freedom of speech means. Like, the fuck do you want us to do? Like, yeah, hells yeah! Hells yeah, I think that this, that Kiwi Farms should be censored. Like, why the fuck wouldn't you want a site like that to be gone? What the fuck? You s this, the, the level of, like, thought where it's just so opposite, like, I remember, like, the first time that this happened, like, I was listening to, like, a conservative politician in Australia talk about how, um, how, how, like, if, if we allow, if we allow this, then, um, then, if we allow this thing to go through, then refu then refugees will, uh, be able to access more, um, more, uh, Centrelink payments. And, like, I turn around, I'm like, oh, that sounds fucking awesome. Wait, he was saying that as if it was a bad thing. 
Like, the the disconnect there between what's right and wrong and what is good and bad and what, like, is good for society versus bad for society is so fucking different. It's absolutely bonkers to me. Like, he will say, yeah. And they're like, this, Jeremy said, it's just like, well, it's because they all agree that this should, because this site should be shut down. Yes! I think that this site should be shut shut down. I believe that this site should be shut down. Shut down. Um, and your only uh, alternate example was a transgender like website. Why should a transgender website be taken down? Unless you just think that being transgender is bad because being transgender is just bad to you. It sounds like a fucking you problem, mate. At the end of the day, it sounds like you need to work some shit out and learn what right and wrong and what's good for people and what's bad for people is based on a you know you can take whatever moral roots you want from whatever religion or like lack of religion fucking whatever but as long as you like take those roots and apply them to our scientific consensus of what like actually benefits people's lives there is no downside to kiwi farms not existing anymore. No legislation has been passed. There is no change within what your government says your rights are. A private company has made a decision based on their terms of service. Nothing has changed other then Kiwi Farms has been removed from Cloudflare. That's it. This is not a freedom of speech issue. This is a pro problem with capitalism and a problem with the things that you seem to want to defend. Well, maybe he's sick of getting swatted, so now he's trying to trying to get in nice and get curry favour with the Kiwi Farms crowd. Enemy of my enemy. Also, there's there nothing about ke ke uh, Keffles in this as well. Like, ke like no no mention of Keffles. Just just her face on the um, thumbnail. So uh, that's gonna get a nice uh, nice uh, bit of um, yeah, a bit of uh, burp, burp, spam or misleading um, misleading thumbnail. Yeah. So it's a misleading thumbnail. It has nothing. He's, he's using uh, the Kevl's Kevl's cloud. So, yeah, yeah. Free with who it's being done to. Hooray for freedom of speech on private platforms, which exists apparently to these people. It's truly nothing to celebrate at all, and the people that are celebrating it are. Uh, are going to be the most surprised when it comes for them. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon. Amazing. Just amazing. All right, I'm going go to go over for a quick break. Um, when we get back, I guess we'll uh, talk about something else. So don't go anywhere. Um, we'll do. Either way, though, I will be... <laughs> when it comes for them, yeah. like because Because it comes for them so fucking often. It doesn't come for anyone with money. It only comes for people without money who threaten people with money. Like, when when will you fucking learn? When will you learn? When will you learn? But don't go anywhere. Or do. Either way, I will be back.
Welcome back. And we're back. All right. All right. So grab yourselves a drink. Let's uh, let's chill and uh, let's uh, drink milk and chill. How about that? That's that. That's that's a thing, right? That's a thing. I'm, I've got my milk here. See, see, it's a white can of milk. That's that's why it's milk. It's milk. It comes out looking like um, a bit like darkish, but like that's because it's like not pasteurized. Hey, welcome back. I just thought that we could find some pretty cool things to react to, and what is more fun to react to than Rob Schneider. <laughs> I don't know if this will be any good, but uh, Rob Schneider um, was on the, uh, Glenn, the Glenn Beck podcast. Oh my gosh, this is, oh, this is an hour long, fuck. It's an hour long... Ah, uh, hold on. I'm gonna see if I, I. You know what? I'm gonna go for um. Ooh, normalized racism. There we go. I I saw this, this and I thought four. He was in the cast. So for Rob those Schneider. of you who are younger than me, Rob Schneider was a comedian who was on Saturday Night Live. I think in uh the early 90s i think so hw bush era i think mm, yes and maybe just after that uh with sandler i think he was on contemporaneously uh he was hired in 88 and then was there from as a writer but then went from from 1990 to 1994 he was uh, in the cast lots of republicans yeah. from that time yeah. sandler schneider jim brewer um on snl James Downey is um, um, a, a little bit Republican leaning, if I remember correctly. Um, Just feels like more than now. But I don't know. Uh, well, in that era, you know, it was, it was Reagan. It was it was post Reagan, and there was a lot of uh, us. Uh, I imagine um, that Schneider and I are of similar age. I don't know how old he is exactly, but um, and he was, you know, um, he wasn't like geniusly funny but he was uh he was funny he, he was, had big uh, movies adequate. like from when i was a kid i just i remember juice bigelow male gigolo i remember uh hot chick like th those were the movie just... where i said you can do it yeah that that's right six sandler movies his <laughs> most famous same, thing was the copy thing. guy where yeah. you know uh, matt would come in, matt arino matt a dingo and it was the same joke over and over again and it would just get to extreme Newt and then but if you're eight get, and you're watching the pg-13 movie one of your first uh, that was like that rob Schneider. Oh, he, he was without that he was that he was for for us but the reason why i say this is because um on this interview apparently and i don't think we have a clip of it he said i don't care about my career, <laughs> what this means for my career. Is it on there? Okay, let's hear. Are you willing to lose it all for what you believe? Absolutely. Yeah. Because <laughs> if, if we don't have it, then we have nothing. Mm -hmm. I want to, I'm not, I'm not, I don't care about my career anymore. Mm -hmm. I care about my children. <laughs> oh, no, it's sad when like, not, not, not just everyone else, but like he, he's, he's come to terms with his loss. Me too. The country that they're going to live in. And my hope is this. My hope is a beautiful pause it, story. Pause it. Now, let me just say this. I hope your kids aren't trans or gay. All I have to say about that. How old is uh, Shaq? Can you look it up? He's 58. He's okay. three years older yeah. than you. So he's three years older than me. And the president is or Yeah. I'll be I, lo I love you, Sam, but I don't want to steal your content. So. Are you willing to lose it all for what you believe? Absolutely. Yeah. Because if, if we don't have it, then we have nothing. Mm -hmm. I want to, I'm not, I'm not, I don't care about my career anymore. Mm -hmm. I care about my children's. Me too. The country that they're going to live in. And my hope is this. My hope is a beautiful story from a, from a, um, 
from a chaplain oh, in what? England. Oh. When the American flyers came over in the early days of World War II, when the American flyers came over after, this is like the dog days, 1942, late 42, when like their friends were getting blown out of the sky. They would go over on the bombers and half would come back, two thirds would come back, you know, but they were dying. And there was one particularly awful um, week, two weeks, where there's a, a very high percentage. Well, yeah, like uh, that. That uh, what career? Like he's ridden on Adam Sandler's coattails for his entire fucking life. This is the first time I've ever heard of him being on SNL. But honestly, like it doesn't. I I know that I know Hosa likes SNL. Um, and I'm I I guess sorry about what I'm gonna say, but like. I don't know, like, it doesn't seem like you have to be that good at comedy to be on that show. Like, what else can I say? Like, it doesn't seem like you have to do much to get onto a show like SNL, because, like, if you got people like Rob, Rob Schneider and, like, whatever else, whoever else that gets onto there, you know, Dave Chappelle was on there, and, you know, like, and he fell off. Like, I don't know. Being on SNL just doesn't seem to be, like, a thing to write home about to me, I guess. Maybe I'm just an ignorant Australian foreigner who doesn't understand good comedy. That's a possibility, but... Maybe I like my shit to be a little bit funnier? of these pilots were Sorry. getting blown out of the sky and getting killed and um oh, they went to the I love milk. um mm. prison they mm. went to the to the uh to the air force chapel and they the that pilot said why he said our friends are dying why should we do this why should we get up tomorrow and fly they did this at like literally 4 45 they're supposed to leave 5 30. why should we do this tell us why they didn't say they weren't going to do it. So tell us why we should do this. Our friends are dying. Tell us. Your friend's dying? Rob Schneider? If your friend's dying, then maybe he could, like, get better health care if you had a single-payer system. You know, maybe if you cancelled student debt and made it easier for people to become doctors. Maybe if you moved away from a private hospital system. Hmm? Maybe, maybe that would help. Uh, yeah. And the chaplain was really, you know, woke up. I, I don't find SNL funny. I'm sorry. I, I, it's not my, it's not my sense of humor. Um, my sense of humor is as fucked up as Hassan's sense of humor. I find this funny. So, like, I suppose in this sense, he's the funniest I've ever seen him. Also, the hot chick gave me weird feelings as when I was younger, and that, and well, we all know why now. Up and said, um, "Well, humanity has come out of it. Has come out of the dark ages. We've come out of where people get burned at the stake. People." <laughs> believe and and go along with this and there's a darkness that we have come out of and doing a more of enlightened don't period, get a more freer period and he said this is a step back into those darkness and is it the dark okay so like it took me a second here i'm sorry for forcing it here i'm just looking at the coffee cup and i thought is that the same font it's the same fucking font Come on! Look! You can't blame me for thinking that, like, Rob Schneider was drinking out of a Glee cup. You can't blame me for that. Literally, I'm just like, wait, is he drinking from a Glee cup? I mean, like, I'm not gonna throw shade on Glee, I haven't watched it. Again, not my kind of show. But still, 
It's, it's funny, like, Glenn Beck is using the same font and, and on, on his cups. Like, I'm just like, does that say Glee? Oh, it probably says Glenn, but, like, that's, that's, I, like I like to think that um, they're jazzing it up in the, in the studio. Darkest parts <laughs> so of funny. humanity. And we need to stand up for that now. Um, and that requires this. So they all flew. We Get are, to the uh, point. There again. What? Yeah, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> what? That was the point? Yeah, that was the point. That was the point. That was the point. Yeah, yeah no, that, obviously that was the point. The point was to them that, um, like he that that he thinks that he's like some sort of fucking martyr. It's it's just fucking more ridiculous. More of a lightened period, a more freer period, and he said this is a step back into those darkness, into the darkest parts mm -hmm. of humanity. And we need to stand up for that now. Stand against it, I think he means. And that requires this. So they all flew. <laughs> Just fucking insane. Like this, but this is the mentality of like conservatives. They think, so see, I think I, I make, there are some people in my life that I make very, very anxious about the things that I say. I say things like a cab. I'm very forceful about the things I say when it comes to capitalism. And they get concerned because they feel like if I ever got into a situation with a cop or, or like that it would affect my decision making processes at the end of the day, it's, it, it will make it like make me make it harder for me to make good decisions in the moment um i'm not a dumbass fucking conservative who thinks that they can go against the fucking government i'm not a fucking idiot the one and only reason i speak up about the things i believe in is because i have the privilege to do that i have the safety and privilege as a white, attractive woman in a country that validates and values that. I have that privilege, and I didn't ask for that privilege. I have it, and I can speak out. I have an opportunity to speak out for all these things that I believe in, so I do. Does it mean that I think that I'm going to pick up a fucking gun and go after the government? Fuck no. That's the dumbest shit ever. Conservatives like this are fucking dumb as fuck if they think that they're going to pick up a gun and fight against the government. Don't be a fucking idiot. No. Prepare for the worst, yes, but don't be a fucking doomsday prepper. Don't throw away your life for something that does not have any um, foreseeable benefit to society. Try and work towards things that will benefit people around you as well as your society. For a major change um, in U.S. government, you would need something like Floyd protests, but lots longer. You would, you would. Yeah, like for to to save things, you would need revolution, and it is not going to happen from something like January six. Don't do, don't be dumb, don't be dumb. You, the one thing I want to stress about leftist praxis is that you do not need to wait for the government to do these things for you. You can get connected with your community without the government enacting laws, all right? You can lobby the government as a community. You can get together with people. You can create infra infrastructure. You can learn. You can do these things if you can, when you can. Don't put pressure on yourself to fight a fucking war that you will not win. You're just throwing your lives away. Don't be a sovereign citizen asshole 
right? Unless you catch that shit on camera so I can react to it later and create some content. Please, send it to me. Like, join the Discord, send me some shit. But yeah, no, done randomly. 100%. Like, new Black Panthers? Yeah. Patrol your streets. Like, the Black Panthers were, as far as I know, the last, like, real militia, like, proper militia unit as outlined in the Second Amendment. Like, the intent of them was very much in line with the Second Amendment, as far as I know. Um, but yeah. Going to Wendy's, once a Wendy's, you have it a little... I, I see, see, here's the thing, Wendy's is different here. Yeah, our Wendy's is, is a different... We have a Wendy's, but it's a different company. But yeah. No, I just wanted to talk about that, though. I just, just find it so... I can still have respect for people that I hate, as well. I, I just, like... I, I fucking hate cops, but, like, I can have respect for individuals. It's like, I, I, I hate capitalism and capitalists, but I'm not going to be a dick to an individual. Like, gosh. <sighs> yeah, that's right, done randomly. What are we looking at here? Reddit. Repost if you like grilled cheese. <laughs> grilled cheese in chat. I want to get a new tattoo. I love a tattoo. Wait, are you asking me about my my tattoo? Rainbow Coalition. We are uh, there again. Bro, cheese. <laughs> yeah, and it requires a new set of flyers. Oh, mine. <laughs> <sighs> so oh, they're the flyers, God. and they're. There we go. This this is what I've got. Effective. It basically basically that. You played you played the song of healing, um, and now my own soul has been healed too. It's, it's from a video game. I've also got I also put a semicolon on it as well. Mm. This milk is really nice. Oh yeah. I thought that would be funny. I thought that would be funny to have a look at. I think I've got a bunch of stuff like um in my um in my streaming links, so like I should probably go through it. Oh, Nick Fuentes, I wish that I could uh I wish that I could watch that on stream. Andrew Tate changed my life. Four reasons nobody is joining the military. Oh what about that what about that Jordan Peterson video? What about that Jordan Peterson video? It's a short one. Um Yeah, eleven minutes. Africa is not Africa is not poor because not poor because of colonization. And fuck you if you disagree. Well, you you list here in one of your articles uh, Whoa, where you make re reference to these rating systems, the bottom ten countries for doing business in the world. Oh my gosh! Uh, like fucking someone fetch me, fetch me my calipers, fetch me calipers, fucking hell. World, Chad, oh, Haiti. Calipers? Central African Republic, Congo, Democratic Republic, South Sudan, Libya, Yemen, Venezuela. There's a lovely example. Eritrea and Somalia. Fetch me calipers. And so there are three exceptions in yeah. the African ecosystem. Yeah. I don't have Mauritius, calipers, Rwanda, sorry. Kenya, South Africa, Botswana, and Zambia. You pointed out in your pros prospectus. Is it prospectus yeah, article? Yeah, prospectus article of uh, right, Art right. Institute. Right, that Mar Mauritius have, have, is a have rising a, star, I have, I have a, uh, and Rwanda is in some ways measure? comparable to Georgia. So some of these countries have started to get this right. Yes. And so what's the consequence of that? And what does right mean? What <laughs> they have understood, I'm what these countries have understood, is that economic freedom is at the center for prosperity building. Um, ah, economic freedom. Oh my gosh, the biggest lie ever told. Fucking hell. Ah! She got booba. Rwanda, for example, Morning, the chat. president of Rwanda Represent. is explicit about it. 
He said he wants to be the Lee Kuan Wu of, he wants to be the Singapore of Africa, and Lee Kuan Wu is his model. Now, the dirty mouths are gonna start shouting, oh yeah, see, authoritarian, blah, 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 whatever. Me, I wanna talk only about the, um, econ on the economic side. If you take Lee Kuan Wu and Singapore as your example, then it means that like him, you're gonna have to be serious about economic freedom. And that's exactly what he did. That's what Singapore- I'm getting did. distracted Singapore by the thing. Singapore figured that out, they went on to put in the right reforms to make their environment the most, some of the most business friendly environments in the world, one of the most free markets environment in the world. And you saw the magic of Singapore. Today, Singapore is richer than its ex-colonizer, Great Britain. So when I hear people telling me today, oh, Africa is poor because of colonization, I'm like, please, let's move on from that. Does it have maybe ah, a 20%? Ah, yes, yes, yes. Let's, let's, let's move on from, like, the stolen wealth. Okay, yeah, yeah. Just, just, just build, build more, like... It's not free markets that Africa needs. It's proper fucking infrastructure. Like, Africa still doesn't have, like, the infrastructure needed to be business friendly. And where do you think that money is going to come from? Fucking hell. It's going to come from the fucking public. And if you take it from the public and you don't give it back to the public, the public gets poorer and poorer and fucking poorer. Well, I have some sympathy for the move on idea, the idea being that the West will never give back willingly. Well, I mean, that's true, but like, the, the West is still taking it! The West is still taking it! Whether it's through, like, slave labor in coca cocaine farms, it's slave labor in fucking, like, child labor in, on, on tea, um, reservations, um, whether it's fucking, um, like, sending children into fucking diamond mines. The West is still stealing from the fucking country. And the neoliberal reforms are not going to make the lives better of the people who already are alive. It's going to make the people, the middle class and the rich, uh, richer until the rich can dump the middle class because obviously all the poor people will fucking be like gentrified out of the place or die uh, or put in prison to fucking rot and forget about. It. Fuck off. Percentage in where we are today? Maybe, maybe, and I don't know. But I you don't I know it's not the cause. Because if it were, many countless countries have been colonized before. And by the way, colonizing one another is, is humanity's history. It just happened. Yeah, it, it's a history. It's not a good history and it should be observed as a negative thing. It fucking destroyed, like, the lives of millions, hundreds of millions of people over the course of history. Like... Yes, it's history. It just happened. It just happened. Millions of people. Like, this is this is one of the problems with the human brain. We are not able to properly process large numbers. But, like, imagine, like, your entire city not existing anymore. Like, walking around your city and, like, people just... Everyone's dead. That's, like, maybe 100 million people in, in, in a city. Like, or in, like, your general area. Or, I, I don't know. But, like, comprehending these numbers is very, very hard. So it's very easy to say, oh, it's just history. It already happened. Forget about it. Generational wealth is a fucking thing. And even the people, like, apartheid um, never really ended. Um, it's still, uh, the ongoing effects of that are still in existence. Like, look, if you want to have a look at... Um, uh, not Venezuela, fucking Argentina, and uh, their, I think it's, uh, no, it could be Venezuela as well. One of the reasons Venezuela failed so hard um, was that there was uh, just so much wealthy landowners um, who could w lobby the government into not being able, like, basically just holding on to their wealth instead of, like, spreading it amongst the people. 
I just considering history as something that just happened and that everything that's happening now doesn't lead on from history. Um, they might have. I haven't looked into it enough, but like I know that um, there's a lot of con there's a lot of countries. I can't remember whether it was Venezuela or Argentina, um, but um, one of the arguments was kept on coming down to the oh they were more profitable be they they were more profitable beforehand, but that was because of the juxtaposition between industrialization and an agricultural lobby was just too powerful. Like when the agricultural lobby got in the way of progress, basically that maybe African, Africa has been one of the, the, the last, you know, um, colonized region in the world. So in our psyche, it, it, it is there and it acts like nothing happened before to others. But uh, flash news, it's the history of the world. We've been capturing each other back and forth, all of that. It's not just the history, it's all the, also the present. Like I've said, like the, you still have child labor, you still have uh, slave labor, which is perpetuated by the West. The, the West still like vampirically sucks your, the life force out of your country. To think that neoliberal reforms is going to solve that problem, I need you to fucking show me some like meaning behind that besides, oh, the history has happened. Let's just forget about it and move on. Like, no. Like, why would anyone move on from history? We stand on the shoulders of giants. We build on our history. I thought conservatives, like, were all about, like, you know, respecting history and shit like that. I thought that, um, you know, moving forward meant trying to like retain um the past that's good and remove the past that's bad like being skeptical of progress this seems very very antithetical to what like yeah like he, that happy puritan that's the point i'm trying to make like comparing you to conservatives like this because they're they are conservatives but um yeah they're, they're focusing on neoliberal reforms which which aren't going to help they're just not but that's not how society improves this is how you improve that you inflate you can inflate markets basically doing neoliberal reforms but what inevitably happens is a crash and who takes the brunt of that crash it is the most poor and most destitute um effectively the poor are cattle to be sacrificed on the altar of capitalism so anyway, but the truth is, um, Singapore, richer than Great Britain today, and then Hong Kong. And uh, how many homeless are in Singapore and Hong Kong compared to um, similar countries with um, more like socialist reforms? Like what's the wealth disparity between the rich and the poor in Singapore? Like how are you improving the lives of the greatest amount of people in um your country like this is the shit that people criticize stalin for like stalin literally um stalin literally sacrificed millions of people to push through industrialization reforms which is 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 i guess the most similar thing i can explain like that they talk about it it's very pro business but it is an anti-state yeah well, I mean, like, you get my point, though, right? Like, near like being for neoliberal reforms, being for like shock doctrine style reforms, will sa literally sacrifice the lives of the poor in order to increase the riches of a more smaller amount of people. This is exactly what conservatives criticize Stalin for. This is exactly what leftists like, criticize Stalin for, except the weird fucking Stalinist communists who think that Stalin did nothing wrong, which is fucking weird. That's so weird. To, you, you know, like, the transition of the Soviet, uh, the Soviet Union from um, agriculture to industrialization came at the cost of millions of lives. Like, no one can dispute that.
um, and it should not have come at the cost of that many lives. In the same way, imposing neoliberal reforms which will come at the cost of many more lives and has come at the cost of millions and millions of more lives than communism ever has. Inshallah. And then because Hong Kong happened, China even today happened because China's like, wait a minute, what, what went on over there? And then China went on to do the exact same thing with its SEC. What? Disease, the special economic zones, some of the most free market zones in the world. Oh my gosh, no. Oh, the old, the old China. <laughs> China is rich because of the free market. No, China is rich because it's the fucking sleeping dragon that fucking used the fucking West. They, they, China is rich today because they fucking saw America and they thought to themselves, we are going to take advantage of their greed. It's almost like change is disruptive and should be done mo moderately. Well, having Puritan, if that's true, then, like, we would never have any positive, um, real positive reforms. That's the problem. Like, you can't actually have um, positive revolutionary reforms without um, disruption. Stop ripping me off with booster packs. So fucking what? Booster packs? Oh, yeah. Fucking hell. World and then look at it happen in communist China, who, when it comes to economics, decided that we're going to do the free market. We're going to be capitalist. No, but China, ne China never did the free market. China has always um, been a very controlled market. Uh, China did not um, because like the reasons why China has lifted so many people out of poverty is not because of the free market it's 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 to a big degree um uh, their own imperialist uh, actions um of you know like uh, the tibet and in um uh Xing, Xinjiang, uh with the uyghur people um you've also got it's just there's so many different things that come into it and that all all they point to is like it's the free market that did it no china is not what you point to for free markets china has very controlled markets quite literally like this is antithetical does lucy like the ccp or not i need a simple narrative um no i don't like any state which relies on authoritarian control i prefer governments with as uh, horizontal a hierarchy as is possible but i am not stupid enough to compare china with the us and think that the us comes out a winner on that one uh, in every single way china has murdered less people it has colonized less people. It has destroyed the lives of less people. Um, China is a better government than America is. Well, and mine as well. Australia has done worse already than China has done colonialism-wise. Um, the West is worse than china <laughs> so like if we're talking about uh the the lesser of two evils china is definitely the lesser of two evils in my eyes um china's just does capitalism better than the west does that's basically it free markets don't work believing in some fucking invisible hand instead of a controlled plant market um is fucking hilarious when you look into the economics of the system but yeah like yeah yeah i mean like i do enjoy where i live i enjoy the freedoms i have but the thing is i have those freedoms because at the cost of the lives um and the continued exploitation of people in other countries um i would not have as good a life if i was born in china but at least i would live in a country which didn't do that at the cost of uh, people in third world countries it just is better my life is better but that's because of privilege uh, yeah
it's more to me it's more about it's not just about things that benefit me it's about the things that benefit my community and the and society as a whole and i think if the world was run by it like uh, i think if um if the majority of the world was run similar to china i think that the world would be a better place but i would still be anarcho-communist and seek to create a as little hierarchical state as is possible does that make sense it people always hate how i ramble with my answers but too long don't read don't read I don't like China, but it's best case scenario. People do like defending their unearned goodies. True. Um, and I can't, I can't blame them for that. Really? Because they've grown up being taught that they deserve them. So... Uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, people, it's hard to convince people that they are, that their existence relies on the suffering of hundreds of people. Like, it, it's, it's, it, it's a difficult thing to conceptualize in your head um, and not feel a certain way about. I don't know why I don't feel a certain way about that. In the same way as other people, I, I tend to have an issue with um, um, memory permanence. Like, if a person isn't there in front of me, I don't tend to think about them that much unless they're really, really close to me. Um, so when there is someone in another country who is suffering because of the things that I enjoy, I have to actually actively seek out and think about those things in order to be affected by it and that's why i do read into these things a lot because i want to be affected by those things in order to um motivate myself to become a better person in the way that i i believe being a better person is um Maybe it's a form of self-flagellation, but I need that in order to, like, spur me on. Because that's the only way we tried everything else. We killed hundreds of millions of people, and, and we have... And no, you didn't. Hundreds of millions of people did not die in China um, because of communism. Like, that's a lie. Tens of millions, maybe. But, like, don't, don't give me the fucking hundreds of millions of victims of communism bullshit, because, um, no. We have nothing to show for it, but now that we're tired of being disrespected members of society, because guess what, that's the other thing too. If you want to be respected in this world, you're going to have to be among the, more, the prosperous ones. For yep, yep. So in order to become, this is, this is the thing, like, this is where feminism went. And this is where feminism went um, back, back in the day. Like, it went from, like, standing up for women's rights and then at a certain point, you find that like a subsect of um, feminists would start, you know, trying to conform to um, ideas of masculinity and to try in order to try and take positions in higher places from men, um, conforming to um, neg toxic masculine masculine um, ideals in order to try and stay at the top of the hierarchy. The problem is not lifting people up into higher places in the hierarchy uh, the problem is that the hierarchy exists in the first place so this sort of like dog eat dog philosophy i'm i i can't stand with her with this because it relies on the disenfranchisement of your neighbor it, it, it relies on on someone suffering for your success that is what a hierarchy is it is where violence and coercion is directed because there is always a threat of violence and what you what you perceive as violence might not be uh, the same as mine i see po violence i i see homelessness and poverty as a form of violence um which is passively inflicted upon people lower in the social hierarchy um but yeah 
Don't know if she's a realist, the same drivers and slaves would want to hold the whip. Yeah, that, yeah, you said it in a better way than I ever could. Oh, that would, be good. would it be nice, G, that we respect people just because? Absolutely. But that's really not the world we live in. So when China got tired of being disrespected... By and that's the point. And my opposition to violence and hierarchy is just my perception true. But the thing is, my perception as an individual does inform society as a whole. And this is where I come from, uh, from a collaborative um, position. I believe in collaboration. I believe in trying to put my vision across to other people and convincing people to like the things that I believe in. Um, and finding like minds, not changing minds. I believe in that old Christian, very, very old Christian epithet of trying to be the change that I seek in the world. Whip and not the one being whipped. I would prefer to uh, destroy the whip. I don't think anyone should be whipped. The, the, the thing is, have a Puritan, like, I'm not on the side of the person holding the whip or the person being whipped. I'm on the side of removing the system which is allowing that process. That's the difference between having an individualistic perspective versus a, a um, collective perspective, like a belief in the problem being the systems that we've created around ourselves. And this is the point that I want to make right here about what she's just said. Um, she's just said that... Um, like, this is just not the world we live in. Well, then, let's work together to change the world we live in, because collaboratively, we have created the society together, and we've perpetuated. It's time to break free. It's tri time for change. It's time for increment incremental change. It's time for revolutionary change. It's time to put in effort in order to improve the lives of those around us, to improve the lives of our own selves. But like maybe we've got to build also some prosperity here because then they're going to hear us. And today, China being one of the, you know, being where it is at, even Hollywood, Hollywood, who tries to tell the world how to think, is being told by China what movies to make. Okay, we've got conspiracy theory here. And how to tweak stories? It's money, honey. It's money, honey. Like, literally, like, at, at, like she started off with, like, a rant about neoliberalism being great and the free market being great, but then immediately complains about the fact that China can use, like, its monetary force to um, impose pressure on um, free markets. Do you not understand the problem with your own fucking logic, you dumb bitch? Ah! This is the biggest contradiction! They're all for free markets until somebody has enough money to control the free markets! Ah! That's the problem with free markets! Eventually someone comes out on top! Ah, you don't want free markets, you just want to smoke weed and fuck kids. Fuck libertarians! And history? in order to be palatable for them. You see the power that comes with, with being prosperous. The consumer price index has reached yet another 40-year high. Whoa, what the, the fuck GDP is this? numbers confirm that the United States is in a recession. Now is not the time to have all your money in the stock. Oh my gosh, this is a It's a fucking ad. I'm just like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> right, uh, right-wing black nationalism is honestly the most pessimistic form of black nationalism. It's an ad, yeah. Um, here's the thing, though, like... You gotta think, you gotta, like, I am so close to being blackpilled. Like, I, I, I'm an anarcho-communist who doesn't believe that it'll ever happen in my lifetime. Like, how can you be more blackpilled than that? Text your hard-earned... Text Jordan, no. ...to countries like Senegal to get the hell out of the way, let's say, of the people who would, like you, would try to would do everything they could to try to make it better. I mean, one of the... Wait. Like you would... Try, wait, wait, I need to hear this question again. Gold. What would take, you recommend... Yeah, yeah. Um, take, take, put, put mummy in chat, um, to, to, like... Oh, subscribe to, subscribe to my Patreon. That's right, I've got a Patreon. I'm gonna put my, put my Patreon link in here. 
it's uh, good because because Patreon, Patreon, so su- subscribe to my Patreon, and I, I and I'll drink more milk. I'll drink more milk and and find more low cut tops. How about that? I, I pay, pay give me give me money on 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 my Patreon so that I can afford to buy. Give me money on Patreon so I can afford to purchase um, more low cut tops. Do it. 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 No. Just, just do it. Just do it. There we go. Okay. okay. Do it. Mm-hmm. Do it. Five dollars a month. All right. Okay. okay. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Not sorry. Let's continue. And concretely to countries like Senegal to get the hell out of the way, let's say, of the people who would like you would try. So wait, okay. So if I understand this question correctly, um, Jordan Peterson is asking how to impose free markets upon people who don't want free markets. So authoritarianism they would do everything they could to try to make it better. I mean, one of the things that happened with India is India established the Indian Institute of Technology, which is a deadly yeah. engineering school, and a huge number of its graduates went to Silicon Valley, as you well know. Yeah. And many of the successful Indian graduates of IIT started to dump money back into India and build a, a capitalist infrastructure there, or help build a capitalist infrastructure there. So this sort of thing can really take hold. Ooh. If you were making recommendations to governments who wanted to get on board and stop being like, Chad, Haiti, <laughs> Central African Republic, Congo, South Sudan, Libya, Yemen, and Venezuela, etc. What what concrete step, steps should they take right. from the bottom up to get the hell out of the way? Exactly. So from the fi- bottom up to get out of the way. What the fuck are you talking about? Things we've been doing uh, because I'm an I'm a practitioner as that's my entrepreneurial journey. I'm an entrepreneur, so I practice what I preach, uh, but I also preach. I preach for free markets, and so. When it comes to that, I'm, I'm... I mean, there we have it. There we have it. Like I always say, belief in the free markets is a religion. It's just another religion. It's the cult of the cow. It is the brass cow. It is the golden cow. When Moses came down with the first ten, with the, with the two, with the stones, the commandments from God, when Moses came down for the first time, he found the people worshipping the cow. Worshipping the golden calf, indeed. Worshipping idols, worshipping the free markets. In fact, like if you want to have, if you if you like me, do a uh, Marxist reading of the Bible, you can actually find a lot of like really anti-capitalist uh, messaging in the Bible. Uh, but the real meat is in not in what the Bible says itself, but in like backing that up with like really, really. I can't remember what did he do with the calf. Um. With the golden calf, I know. Um, technically, yeah, yeah. Uh, they burnt the golden calf in a fire, ground it to powder, scattered it on water, and forced the Israelites to drink it. When Moses, oh, that's badass. Aaron admitted to collecting the gold and just threw it into the fire, and it just came out as a calf. And made him drink the ashes. Um. That's not how gold works, but okay. One of the hats that I wear is as the um, director for the African Center for Prosperity of the Atlas Network, the largest organization. I wonder who owns this. She's speaking to my dad. Wife, wait, she's the director. She is the director of the, she's the director of this organization. 
Young America's Foundation. Oh, for fuck's sake. Atlas Network? What the fuck is Atlas Network? Was a British businessman and think tank founder. Oh my gosh! The Institute of Economic Affairs. Holy fuck. Oh my gosh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, they're pretty mainstream. Young Americans is basically like the young conservatives. Yeah, it's not, it's not, um, to, to toilet paper USA. But yeah, for fuck's sake. Of course they call themselves Atlas. Of course they call themselves Atlas. Are there any think tanks in my country? Fucking hell. Well, my boobs do a thing when I shrug. Why am I poor? The country I'm talking about. Remember guys, this one I said 20 minutes or less. In this country, it takes you maybe, um, $20 and another couple hundred dollars to kind of do all the articles of You will not what? That's it. You want what? Which is a ridiculous, it's almost nothing if you look at somebody who even you makes $40,000 a year, right? What's the percentage what? of that compared to their salary? Almost what? nothing, right? Compare that to this guy over here. It takes a year worth of What is she doing? Wait. <laughs> Okay, wait, 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 wait. Speaking of don't horny. Speaking of don't right. horny. Compare that to this guy over here. It takes... <laughs> He's just got a guy over there. Yep. Yeah. I'm just, just compared to this guy over here. <laughs> He's just right here. Right here. Not there, but right here. A year worth a salary for this person here to legally register their, their business. And I won't walk you through all the nonsense as you think about this. But guess what? Which country would you guys be in? Remember, this one is the one 20 minutes and a couple hundred dollars at max. This one is the one- Was this a conservative with a fucking mask? Income. Which one would you be would you bother to start a business Sh in? Oh, she's so much better when she's sitting down, but honestly, that, that that's boring as fuck. ...of the Atlas Network, the largest organization in the world of um, free market think tanks around the world. And so what we do there is we work on um, reforms around the world to take down barriers of entry for local entrepreneurs. So that's one thing. But as we mm -hmm. all know, that's a great initiative to take, and we've been making some really um, good advances in, uh, in, in uh, many countries, especially in Ghana. Ah. We've been making a lot of progress with our partners there, Imani. But, um, piecemeal, but that is piecemeal legislation. It takes forever. It is hard as heck. And by the time you made a gain here, you made 20 losses over there, and it's a continuous problem. But until we get better, we got to continue at it. So that's one thing we've been doing. And so that's a, a hat I wear working with free market think tanks to try to make it easier for en local entrepreneurs. To it's just like, I don't even just need to say anything about that. Like, no, yeah, no, just fruit. She works for free market think tanks. Like, what else do I need to fucking say? Like to, 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 to join in the party. It, it, that, uh, free market think tanks is literally just throwing money at the government and lobby groups in order to um, promote reforms that benefit the people at the top. Like, that's all it is. That's the That's it. That's it. That's it. Uh, additionally, I'm going bold. I'm going radical. For the past few years, uh, we well, don't say the word radical if you don't mean fucking radical. People don't know what the meaning of the word radical means anymore. We've been advocating. Um...
It means fucking Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, man. An idea for Africa that um, found some of its is it a coup? roots. Is it a coup? In um in Latin America and again is it a coup? to the people who is it a coup? has been, been one of the key figures in this movement. Uh, is it a coup? The Charter Cities. Paul Romer calls it like that. He's a no Charter Cities. Oh, special special development regions, yeah. Special, like this is why she loves Hong Kong so much. Oh, University of Chicago, yeah, Chicago boys, yeah. Well, Laureate in economics. You're absolutely right. Um, others call it, call it the free cities, yeah. I like to call it the startup cities. So the best way to think about it, Jordan, and it goes back to what you were talking about <sighs> earlier when you said, when you use the word operating software, most of the poor uh, developing, most of the low income nations, so meaning back in the days, the way we used to call it is poor nations, are... We call them third, third world nations. They have regulations for poverty. They're basically regulated for poverty, meaning the laws, the set of law, poverty. It only calls poverty. And so what some of these fo folks have fought Is road works. Thank goodness I've got AI about generated looking shit. At the Dubai example. Dubai just recently entered the. Please do not use D Dubai as an example of positive, positive like change with the neoliberal markets. Like the the amount of exploitation and lives lost through that whole process. I'm not even going to go into it now. Like Dubai is not a positive example of neoliberal reforms. It's an example of how the rich comes third world nations. Fuck. Top 10 of uh, the national financial centers of the world. And what Dubai did at oh, some point is think about yeah. it and be like, on this bare, you know, sand, plot of sand that's technically worth nothing right now, as is, this 110 acres of land. Yeah, that was, yes, we're going to take a set of land and we're going to suck the wealth out of um, surrounding land and uh, create poverty in other regions in order to make it look like our country is making heaps of money. So we downplay the poverty because, you know, people just die off and then it becomes less of a problem anyway. They're just dead. It's, it's, it's profit at the cost of human lives. That's where neoliberal reforms always come down to. The money comes from somewhere yeah the gulf states are majority guest workers who are basically slaves the money and profit comes from somewhere and more often than not almost every time it comes at the cost of human lives and human misery like seriously like fucking hell um my country is not uh fucking More than 45 million people trapped in modern slavery. 45 million people, with two-thirds in the Asia-Pacific region. More than 45 million people are working as modern slaves around the world, according to the 2016 Global Slavery Index. Fucking hell, the fact that we have that. And two-thirds reported in the Asia-Pacific region. So, like, India, India, North Korea, are reported as key offenders. That's interesting, the North Korea one. I wonder how they found they they got that um, 
um, number from them. State sanctioned forced labor. I need to look into that one, but yeah. It's funny how they don't put, put America into those numbers, though, isn't it? Even though America does exactly the same thing and they have the largest prison population in the world. Yeah, forced labor, basically. It's uh, indent indentured servitude, so not chattel slavery. We're, we're talking about the kind of um, um, slavery that American prisons do. But like, can forced labor be justified? What does justification mean to you? I don't think it can be. Like, Well, I mean, that's how they get out of um, adding America into the worst of them. But yeah, um, I'm going to take a quick break. Uh, I need to go to the ladies' room. When I get back, let's uh, let's play some games. Let's let's, let's do some let's do some stuff. Let's let's have some fun. Um, so don't go anywhere. Or do. Either way, though, I will be right back after this short break.
and a bag. But yeah. So like Rwanda has uh, mandatory participation in works projects. Yeah. I, see, that's the kind of thing that I would need to see a cost-benefit analysis. Like. <laughs> yeah. I think that work is better done by people who want to do the work at the end of the day, so that should be prioritised. I don't think that drafting people um, and forced labour is, is efficient. You have MHW, Monster Hunter World. Ayo! Wait, what do I do with that? I don't know what to do with that. I'm happy to play with you. I just don't know how, how that works. I don't know how it all works. Wait, what am I doing? What do I need to build more shit? Got a hell of a lot of heavy modular frames. All right. Any, in any case, I'm going to double check that there's nothing here that I can... Oh, hello. Start the research. Yay, Powerpoles Mark three. Um, can't do that one yet. Can't do that one yet. I need to build computers in order to do that. Sulfur. No. 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 Nope. Oh, so close. Nope. I need to make that uh, stuff, I guess. Which means making more black powder, which means getting more sulfur. Um, save. Save. Quit. Exit to desktop. Now, if I remember how to, like, use my computer, that would be good. Ooh, Cult of the Lamb. Update queued. Oh, also, uh, something fun to mention that I just came across while I was uh, in the ladies' room. Check this out. Damn ease. Where are my tweets? Where are my retweets? Retweets. Oh, I do have uh, pronouns. Yes, uh, an, an Israel, Israeli military probe found a soldier likely killed veteran Al Jazeera journalist Shireen Abu Akleh in errant fire. Apologies for the mispronunciation I know I've just done. Um, an official says there will be no criminal probe, meaning no punishment for the soldier or others in the military. So yeah, it's very likely that she was shot by an Israeli soldier, um, as errant fire, no. um, and they aren't going to investigate it at all. Huh. Mm. Yes, very interesting. Fuck you, Israel. Clip that one out of context. Do -do -do -do. Match, match maker. Yes. I don't know what the difference is with that stuff. I'll be right back. Oh. 
for my meal. I have cooked myself. My favorite kind of pie, chili cheese pie from um, the Mrs. Max variety. It's not a Mrs. Max, take it back, is the tagline, as they say. And I'm getting food everywhere. After I cleaned my... I, um, I actually, um, properly cleaned my, um, mouse pad. Which is pretty cool. It looks all nice and snazzy now. Can't see it that well, but it doesn't look gross now, at least. Outstanding bloody, bloody frog ye. Outstanding bloody frog ye. What's the outstanding bloody frog ye? Ye? Hmm. Hmm? Hmm? Hmm. Okay. Now let me remember how to play this game. Ooh, looking bonus. Um, yeah, sure. <coughs> Consensual! I'm not a fucking libertarian. Okay. I have to speak to the provisions, manager. Yeah, I disavow myself as well. I disavow. <clears throat> disavow. It's just a joke, bro. This is a comedy channel. What are you talking about? Okay, well, give me a second. I need to move around my um, Twitch chat. Because it is right where it needs to be to see what I'm doing. I'm going to put it in the middle, see if that helps. Stav... Wait, so, wait, Stavros. Stavros is the guy that was funny, right? What is Cumtown? What the fuck is Cumtown? People were talking about that. You want to be sad about, like, um, Stavros come leaving um, Cumtown. What about... The chef from um, leaving uh, South Park. You forget that you have uh, MHW in German. Ooh. Ah. So apparently I can buy shit from this guy. I have no idea what it is. I can buy a barrel to make it into a bomb. Holy shit. Boomerang. Oh my gosh. There's too much stuff. What can I sell? Ooh, I can sell some honey. Oh, the, um, uh, Chef was, um, the, the voice actor behind Chef was, um, a Scientologist, and he, um, left the show after they made fun, that episode making fun of Scientology. Which is a really good episode, because they actually do, like, tell. The, the funniest thing about, the funniest things about the Mormon episode and the Scientology episodes is all they do is basically say what they believe. Mm -hmm. I think I saw some stuff that he said, you know, like some of his um, stand up, like a clip or something, and thought it was funny. Alright, I don't care what you have to say, Chief Ecologist. Also, I am still not doing it on screen. I am so sorry, I am the worst streamer ever. Oh my gosh. Might as well just have this going and just, just jump up and down the entire time. What do you reckon? Discord? What's on Discord? Wait, did someone do something on Discord? What happened on Discord? Ah! My ear. Ooh, wait. Great Jagras. Yeah, I fucking got him, didn't I? Alright, research levels. Scout fly bonus. I don't know what yeah. this is. Field guides. I have no idea what this means, but 
Do you want to VC and play? Um, oh, did you want to VC? Yeah. Hey, Sunsword, welcome back. Yeah, sure, sure. Like, did you want to VC on stream? I don't mind. <clears throat> Hold on. Um, just don't be TOS. Uh, where are you? I've got everything set up, so you can. All, all you need to do is hit the um, hit hit the call button. So that's fine. And if anyone else wants to join in, like, and they have this game. I have no idea what the... Benefits slash negatives are. Oh, wait, that wasn't the provisions manager. This is. Buddy. Oh, you are too good to me. I am as good as I say I am. Don't let me down. My pronouns are they, them. It's going to be difficult for me because I'm terrible at, like, breaking free of the um, binary. Mm. Awful. Hey, wait, register bounties? Oh, I can, okay, I can accept up to six. What does that mean? What does that do? Okay. Wait, limited ones? Oh, okay. Wait, what's the difference between registered and limited? Oh, no, wait, I've, I can only do registered ones. I can only register. There's no limited ones. Alright, whatever that means. Okay, um... I have seven slots and I have seven options. Okay. Okay. Ooh, Puzzy Hunter. Who's Puzzy Hunter? Oh, oh, wait. Oh, that's why. I... Oh, you have a cr cringe in game name. I missed the call. Start the voice call. Ding dong. Ding dong. The only question is whether the v VC will work. Hello? Uh... Testing? Uh, hello? Hey, it's working! Uh, I can not watch the stream while uh, talking. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair enough. Welcome, Monkey Gamer from the Moon! Okay, I cannot see the chat either. So, so wait, I do a thing. Wait, so you're you're in you're in the game though, right? Whee! Yeah, I'm in the game. Woo! Where are you? Where, how do I find you? Oh, I've got an exclamation uh, in mark. The... Lobby thing. <laughs> ah. There's a smart biologist wants to talk to me. I wonder if they know about gender. What nah, is they a gender? What is it? What is a woman? No, <laughs> see, see, the thing is, I've been trying to get Zen Shapiro to get that, do that debate with me. Oh, and, that uh, guy. Okay. And Fabian, and Fabian also like is ignoring me. But that's because I, like, beat him in debates without even debating him, so... It's cringe. Good luck. Okay, yeah. so I do a thing. Okay. So, what do, do what do you want to do in this game? Uh, I, I'm, I'm just, like, trying to do the, like, extra stuff. Like, I, I keep on seeing people with exclamation marks, so I'm, like, running over to them and, like, seeing what they have to say. Hello, Edvoint Manager. My that gosh. reminds me, I need to uh, look at my garden. <laughs> Could you imagine just like standing like that the entire time? <laughs> oh wait, um, oh, actually, you know what's going to be easier for you as well? Um... I wonder if this is going to affect my frames. Oh, cancel. Ah! Turn on camera. What are the yeah, there we go. There we go, the, the, then you don't have any lag. Ah. Uh, mm. Well, I have only one screen though. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I guess I think I need to find man. the campsite in the ancient forest, I think. Am I running? Uh, I'm not running. Oh, that's right, because the, the running button is the left button, and it's just like... Alright, I'm just gonna walk over to the ancient forest, I suppose. Yeah, I Departing. think I can join now. Yeah. What uh, weapons do you use? We need to head to the ancient forest. Uh, the gun lands. Oh, fuck yeah. Final <laughs> Fantasy IX style. Uh... Um, wait, what? I forgot what that was doing. <laughs> I have no idea what to do. Oh, you are going to that forest. I remember. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, like, I'm just following the instructions. I'm really disappointed because uh, it looked like there was a um, hairstyle with the um, like white uh, patch from you know guts from Berserk. I'm really disappointed because like it looked uh, like that that was in this game, but it's not. I so don't I'm... know who that is. <laughs> you don't know who, but guts. What's with all the libs over uh, here? Uh, in these. Uh, have you unlocked all the camps, though? No, no, I'm like level two. Oh yeah, you are like a new. I remember. There's libs everywhere. I swear. Say, uh, oh, oh, ah! Libs. Libs. Let's look libs. 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 Oh. Gross. <laughs> all right. Research is. I have a barbecue spit. First, or if you're lost. Open up your map or use your oh, that's right. I can, I can like, wait. Host a new quest. No. Um, so I don't remember the controls for this game. So I just trying all, all buttons. <laughs> oh, so this is just like open world uh, ship. I'm, I'm like heading to the new campsite. That's basically what the objective is. So, I have no idea what else in the it is. Ancient forest. Yes. Why is it that I have, like, a That's full fair, set I'm of not... armor, but I still do panty shot when I roll over? Fucking hell. Japan, why? <laughs> yeah, right, gonna... when you mention that, I do the same thing. It's just like, what the fuck? Oh, I haven't so... noticed that, though, before Easy now, ration. actually. What is B? Ration? Raw meat. How do I cook the raw meat? <gasps> Barbecue spit. Uh, how do I? What do you mean? Like, what button am I supposed to use? Oh, fine. Then. Where are you? Oh no! Wait, I don't want to press the button. Wait. Oh no! What button do I use? What the fuck? This thing is weird. Uh, uh, button for what? I don't know. It's so weird, this game. It, like, it's telling me that I need to stop stop cooking shit, and then it, it, it like, I, I cook, and then it cooked too much. Uh, I never had the problem with cooking. Cooking in the game. Fatality! Alright. Fatality! Alright, so there's, there's an exclamation mark around here somewhere. Ooh! Skin marks! Now, this is interesting. Let's report our findings to everyone at the resource center when we get back. Uh, hey, oh, no, oh this bad. guy's gonna teach me how to fish. Ah! Nope. Apparently, I'm just gonna jump uh, down. Ah, must be like the tutorial part. <laughs> Yay, tutorials! Let's have some cutscenes. That's why I didn't see you on the mini map. <laughs> mm. Okay. I 
just love me some good fishing. Yeah, the fishing is very simple <laughs> in this game. Okay. I find a fishing spot. Where is a fishing spot? Is this a fishing spot? Uh, if you see fish in the water, it's a fishing spot. Point. But how do I fish? Oh, I can whetstone. Snugs fell in. How do I? Wait, where's the fish? Where is the fish? How do I fish? You should get ah, a there's fish a, there's, a, a there's there's a um ah now what? Okay. Wiggle. Whoa. Real. Nothing. All right. Oh, okay. So I can aim it. Fish. Uh, oh, reel. Reel in. Reel in. Oh, reel in fish. Real big fish. Yay. Wow, that's pretty. Oh, the clouds do move. Oh, that's so cool. I like that. Right, I'm going to put in another fishing rod. Wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Oh, reel in. And I got a pink Parexis. Okay. And so. Oh, that's pretty cool. All right, so I'm learning, slowly learning um, how to do things. But... What the fuck was that? Oh, hey, man, what's up? Where? There's a thing. I'm gonna kill it. Ooh, ow. Oh, wait. A is run. Run! Oh, yo, shit. Oh, you're playing with the controller, are <laughs> Yes! Woo! I tried to play this game with the controller, but I didn't like the controls. <laughs> yep. So, uh, I'm playing keyboard and mouse. Ah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, gosh. Let me... Why, why you know? let me jump? Alright, there we go. Oh, no! No, 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 no. I don't want to fishing rod myself. Why? Oh, I forgot that was a mechanic in this game. You can actually uh, tame uh, dinosaurs. What? That's so cool. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Um, how do I shoot? Ah. <laughs> Claw shot. Claw shot! Woo! Haha, <laughs> missed me, bitch. Ow. Oh, ow, ow. Well, do you have like any side quest or something you want to do? Oh, well, at the moment I'm trying to kill whatever this thing is. Uh. Alright, buddy, come at me, bro. Whoa, fuck that! He just fucking ran at me, eh? Didn't he? Oh, that thing. <laughs> wow. Oh, no! Ah! I'm not good at this game. No, I think you need better gear to kill him. <laughs> Got him, I did hit him though at least. You get like a fire gear from him. Hey, wait, come back. Wait. Hey. He fucked off. This hole. Come back here, you little shit. Ooh, Anjanath. I am doing pretty well against him, though. He didn't kill me, at least. Yeah.
I'm gonna sneak. Sneak after him. Wait, you can ride dinosaurs? I didn't know that was a thing. Wait, he's got a weird nose thing now. Woo. Got him! Ah, I hit him at least. Woo! Ow! Ah, he fucking got me in his hands! Asshole, he's really fucking angry now. Oh, fuck that. Um. You're still fighting that guy. Oh, I can like change the direction that I attack from. Buster freestyle. Ah! Ha -ha. Jump! Jump! I think you jump. can do that with some weapons. That... Whoa, he doesn't seem too happy. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think I hit him. Oh, ow. Ah! Woo! He is uh, not fucking happy. Wait, there's um. Oh my gosh! All right. Well then, in that case, I'm gonna fucking get on to him like this. Ow! Alright. Oh, the game Whoa. is disconnected. Yeah, okay. Uh... Hey, he's fucked off again. My gosh, this guy does not like being attacked. Come on! Come on! Ah, I'm I'm getting it now. Ow! Ow. Oh, I got him on his side. He's angry again. Whoa! He's really angry. Come on. Get his tail. Get his tail! No! Come on, come on, come on! Ah! Get your freaking thing out. There we go. Oh no! Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Yeah, we go. Fuck you. Use the potion. Got him. Ha -ha. Come at me, bro. I'm taking this thing down. Oh, fuck. Oh, you bitch! Wait! Hey, he's running off again!
Ooh, mucus. Red pit. Where'd he go? Ooh, I need honey. I'm just like having some fun, sorry. Yeah, I'm not very talking <laughs> to. That's okay. Oh gosh, it's coming for me. Yes, I got him on his side. I will get you, you little shit. He's slow though, thank goodness. Yeah. Yes! Oh, I got him in the fucking head! I got him in the head as well. Again. Uh, what Oop. quest are you doing, actually? I don't know, I'm just doing an expedition, whatever that is. I, uh. It's like uh, finding a dinosaur thing. Then you get like a cut. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I keep missing though. Ah! Let me jump out of the way. Let me get that tail again. Whoop! Whoop! Oh no, he didn't like that. Ah! Oh shit. Um pretty sure that's it there. What? Oh, I missed. Ah! What the fuck? I don't understand why some of this stuff is happening. Oh no, Snugs! Oh, fuck! Come on! before I could get him. Oh, you died. Mm. Does that mean there's uh, health replenishers? I'm not sure, I think. That's I think if they eat something, the health come back or something. Alright, well I'm coming after him again. There's a skull icon on it though. Here. 
I think I can't join you yet because you are still on the tutorial mission. Oh, that sucks. I want to kill this thing. I don't think you can kill him yet. I want to. I'm gonna try <laughs> one more time. Okay, do that then. Ooh, I found some old footprints. I'm coming close. Bright moss can be used as slinger ammo. Launch it at walls to eliminate dark areas. Like the inside of a cave, for example. <sighs> Over here. Ah! Put away the weapon! Oh fuck, hello! Alright, uh, I guess I'm attacking this thing now, I guess. Wait! Hey! Come back here! Hey! You just fucking running off! Asshole! Come back here! Ow! How did he hit me? Oh, that's oh, what? Thing. He's very easy to kill. He's like the first monster you have to slay. Ah. Yeah, I'm just trying to remember how to use things. I'm trying to get his tail. Yeah. And you're using the great sword or something? Yeah. Is one of the most powerful weapons in the game. <laughs> oh, he's gonna run away, isn't he? Yeah, and then you need to hunt him. Whoa! As pulp primeval enemy and energy. Oh, he's dead. Sorry, Snugs. Poor kitty. Really like getting into it. Well, great Jagras is dead. I'm still supposed Good. to head to a new campsite, so I suppose once I head to there, there it'll work. Yeah. What about the character? I think it's marked on the map or something, or you need to find that, I'm not sure. I don't remember the tutorial mission title. <laughs> Yay! 
Well, I'm just gathering stuff. <laughs> yeah, me too. I'm pretty much just gathering jaggies, jaggeries, jaggerous hides and shit. There's a whole lot of dead animals around here. Yeah. Apparently I can't get anything more out of this one. It's just like lying down. Ah. I guess so. You can, like, make them wear that sort of stuff, though. Yeah, what? Oh, like, cave people stuff. Wait a second, the Jagras yeah. is above me! Hey, buddy. Die. Yeah, you can find, like, uh, traces that you can press uh, uh, F on. Then you get more clues uh, to where he is. So much stuff to look at here. Ooh, and there's like unknown old footprints as well. Flashfly. Ooh, I got a flashfly, whatever that is. I guess I'm gonna follow the old footprints. You can also capture insects and have them as like a pet at the hub. You wear a lion cloth, huh? Every day in real life, so it's boring to wear that in game. I don't know. I'm just following this stuff, the shiny stuff. Ooh, cobwebs, eh? Spatterweb. Ooh, freaky. Blow fern. Yay, you smell grim kill kinds? What the fuck is that? What the hell's a scatter nut? Oh, it's a thing. Oh, these things. All right, there we go. Oh, come on. What a punt. Oh, the asshole! Why can't I? Why can I not? There we go. Whoa, everything went fucking crazy and I killed a lot of things. Alright. I wish I could cancel, like, an, a weapon attack when I don't want to, like, finish it. Oh! Yeah, you can't touch that. <laughs> How do I craft things? There's like an auto craft button, isn't there? Or like you can set things up to like auto. -craft. Yeah, you can make like auto craft the uh, health portions and stuff like that uh, when you pick up uh, plants and stuff. Uh, ooh, bone pile. Oh, it's on the crafting list. The up to crafting. Over here. All right. Uh, this thing.
Always with the panty shots. That's uh, Japan for you. Oh yeah. Wait. Do I jump on this? Can I jump on it? <gasps> yes, I can jump. Oh, it don't show my health bar when I'm not in combat. Oh. Okay. That's interesting. Oh, it's a pot. It's a snipe! Here, snipe! Here, snipe! Here, snipe! Oh. If we don't take care of that past, the camp won't last a night. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. How do I pin it? To return to the world expedition, open the wildlife map and switch to the world map. Oh, got it. I have to kill this thing. What's Grimmel kinds? Not sure. <laughs> Grimmelkines! Found some large Probably, uh, on the monster. <laughs> Ooh. And some more doodles. I found an animal doodle. What do I do with it? Uh, you can use it as a weapon. Oh, hey, there we go. I think it do it some damage, but very little. Ah! Ow! Oh, come on, I jumped! Totes jumped. Ooh, it defends like that. No, I'm not partnering you. Fucking better not be. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Ah! Oh, asshole. Ah, I got his rock. Get him! Oh. Ow. I have forgotten how confusing the 
Muffin. Muffin in this game. <laughs> Come at me, bro. Or are you just gonna wait for me? Oh, yo, shit. Oi! Come back! Uh oh. Bye bye! Ah! Stop that. I'm not after you. Gosh, we are fighting a bunch of them, eh? Yeah, the monsters love to fight each other, too. That's pretty cool. Ah, I missed! Keep missing! Lock on doesn't work. Ow! I got fucking stumped. Ah, asshole. Oh, he's, he's limping. Yeah, bye bye. That's fancy. He's the damn Aha! Oh, what the fuck? Come on, that's some bullshit. Hey, why can't I get up? Oh, fuck you! Get off me! Oh my gosh, let me get up the fucking stairs. Oh my gosh, I don't care about you. Yeah, that's right. Fuck off. Why is he fucking running away? Fucking hell. Oh my gosh. Just run. <laughs> this thing is annoying. Got him finally. Nice. Yep. Oh, whoa, whoa, I don't know what that did. Now's your chance to talk with. Hey. Job hunting the Kulu Yaku. Select a stara from the world map so we can go home. Alright, so wait, what do we do there? I press B. Uh, 
I got a rare stake, whatever that means. In this field, I guess. <laughs> I have no idea what it means, but I am eating it. And I'm gonna, like, chop up this Kula... Kulu Yaku. Sounds like a, like a Star Wars, um, enemy. Yeah, or uh, like a Mafia boss or something. Alright, I need to return to Astera, but first I'm gonna whetstone it. I'm slowly learning the controls of this game. Um, what's up, Snugs? Oh, can you not? Can you not, buddy? Please? You're not what? <laughs> oh, there's a guy who wants to hurt me. Oh, yeah, Everyone like... wants to hurt you. <laughs> yeah, I killed him, though. So... All right. Ooh, footprints. Ah, why can't I just me? Yeah. Now, which direction do I go in to do what I'm needing to do? Ooh, oh, there is a post to the. <laughs> I don't know. It says return to Astira. Who's that? Uh, I think that's his, like, main camp. Oh, right. Oh, okay. Well, that makes more sense. Like the herb. Return from expedition. Yes. Expedition complete! I don't know that's what nice. a grimal kind of is, though. Ooh, got a bunch of shit. Okay, I could change the language of this game if I find it. I got research levels. I, that's a good thing, I think. My palico is leveled up. And a new cutscene has been added to the gallery. Cool. I look forward to never watching that. <laughs> yeah. Alright, I'm back, gonna be back at camp. Wait, so does everyone run around in camp? Magnifique. Uh, Magnifique. Really. Alright, a new camp is now available. Alright, I have no language. idea what that means. Don't say I need to go to the main title just to change the voice uh, language. I don't know. Research points. Okay. I have no idea what that means. What are you doing? Can you... Provisions manager, do a thing. Completed a critical boundary. Bounty, okay. Courageous eel. Critical bounty? I have no idea what's going on. I'm sure this will make sense when I start actually wanting to get certain... certain stuff. Okay, there's a limited bounty? Register bounties. Oh, I see! So I can choose which ones to do. Oh, here we go. Complete two event quests and all limited bounties. So, I just need to do something, 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 and then event quests, whatever that is. Um, large monster hunt. Uh, if I look at the curse, uh... Yeah, event quests are like, yeah. How do you capture a monster? You're hunting down like multiple uh, monsters and stuff. Uh... You can then join the cast. And oh. there's deliveries? Oh, 
deliver... Deliver it. Okay, I, I, I delivered something. Done. Alright, cool. Back, manage investigations. Whoa, this... Oh my gosh, there is so much to this game. Yeah, Hunt the Great Jaguars. Okay, we're gonna. I'm gonna hunt the great jaguars. But how do you capture something? That's the question. Uh, first you damage that till that like uh works fun, eh? Mm -hmm. Then you use like a tranquilizer bomb on that. Oh, okay. I don't think I've got that yet. Hello. I think you also need like a electric trap. Okay, so I need to speak to the commander. Also, I might try and upgrade my weapon. It's a little bit no It's slightly annoying that I've, I've started with like the really good armor. It doesn't feel like I'm like yeah. working my way up with it. So I'm thinking I might just get rid of the good armor and start with like chainmail or leather or something it'll make the game harder but I think to add that one armor just to make the game easier to Forging weapons. Okay, the weapons are all the same. Armor, though. Oh, I can get Kulu. Oh, weird. Ah, uh, hmm. And you what need to create that is... one of hmm. the basic weapons to upgrade it to all the weapons. <laughs> uh. I could make some Jagras shit. And do it. But nah. Layered armor. Ooh, what's this? Oh, gala suit. That sounds lame. Pendant looks cool. Hey! Sky blue, yes. I've got a little thingy on my sword now. Yay! I don't know what that means. Let's upgrade com my equipment. Yeah, you make a basic weapon, then you upgrade it. <laughs> so I don't... I still can't upgrade my defender tree thing, because I don't know what item come, I'm supposed to make it out of, but... Um, I wonder if I can upgrade my bone blade. Uh, no, no, and no, I cannot upgrade the bone blade. What about my buster sword? You fool, we've all got swords! <laughs> Ooh, I can make the Jagras blade. Ooh, and yeah. I can. But I can't make the thing. The Jagras blade looks pretty sick. I don't want to get the thunder one though. I don't know. What I what I've got at the moment is still pretty sick. Yeah. It's got the bomb bomb attack version, so that's pretty cool. Oh my gosh. I want this. How do I get this? I need a light crystal. Where do I get light crystals from? Uh... Somewhere. <laughs> oh my gosh, you can make a gun? 
Oh no, it's a claw? That looks like a gun. It's a gun hammer. I can give my cat a gun. Fuck yes. Yeah. Fuck yeah, you've got a gun now, bitch. Aha! Alright. Alright. Alright, I'll be right back. I just need to do some lady business. Hold on. Wing. <laughs> to business. I guess what? Landlords suck. Alright. Oh. Uh, I think uh, I need to accept an assignment. Oh, something, something. something. Mm. Mm. This is a fun game. Are there any quests we can do together, though? The what? <laughs> any quests we can do together? I think so, yeah. I'll, um, I think I need to go out and, like, a proper expedition. Like, the missions? Yeah. Alright, let's go. I'm off to the canteen. Whee! So I can get some food. Let's get the vegetarian. I forget this eating in this game. <laughs> it's the vegan food in this game. That's interesting. Pay with money. Veggie platter. Healthy platter. Veggie platter. Yes. It's the vegetarian option. 
Mm. Those aren't vegetables. That's not a vegetable. That's a fish. That's not a vegetable. That's lit. That's literally not a vegetable. There are there's no vegetables on that plate. There's a bamboo leaf, and I didn't even eat the bamboo leaf. What the fuck? What is this shit? Working hard. Good luck. Wait, what? Okay, whatever. Okay, hey there, let's go. Pookie pookie. Alright, hosting a new quest. Okay, I think I can join. Optional. <laughs> What's this one? Camp Crusher. Hunter Great Jagras. And what's this one? Learning the Clutch. I have no idea what that means, but okay. Investigations. Assigned. I think this is it. Yes. Let's do the northeast camp. Whatever that means. Let's do the pookie pookie hunt. I think you can um, uh, I see. join it now. Yeah, yeah, I can join. Whee! Puzzy Hunter 69. Puzzy yeah, Wuzzy was myself. a bear. <laughs> Puzzy Wuzzy had no hair. If Puzzy Wuzzy had no hair, he wasn't Puzzy Wuzzy. Get it? Um, are you ready? Maybe. I don't know. Stand <laughs> by for departure. Button. What does stand by for, for departure mean? It oh, okay. means uh, so, you're standing so, still and painting. So it'll, <laughs> it'll, it'll, it'll wait for the party members. Thing. Yeah. Uh, waiting for the quest leader. I think you're ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Oh yeah. Let's let's Wait, I um. Think, uh, I'm in my let, let's hunt that pukey pukey. Oh, that's fine. Hey, splat. Uh, where did you spawn? Ah, you spawned up there, okay. Yes. I have no idea what that is. I will fix that very fast. <laughs> hey, Puzzy yeah. Hunter! Howdy, with your gun sword. Puzzy Hunter! Yeah, oh, my palico. Hey, Schnugs. Hey. Hey. Oh. No! I'm not leaving the palico behind. That's not how you hold a gun though, hun. Honey. Honey, that's not how you hold a gun. You're doing it wrong, Snugs. Really? Snugs is holding the gun by the hand by by the barrel. Alright, um we're <laughs> supposed to be looking for something. Uh hunt a pookie pookie. Whatever pookie pookie is. Uh, do I see a bomb on the map? That's good. Uh... They're not on the map? Alright, well, let's run and I'm... find a pookie pookie. I don't remember what that was. <laughs> There's a frog here. Did I just kick. Did I just kick a frog? I. You'll have to wait for it to wear off. Not that you have a yeah. Okay, I'm so... To... Oh, you're over there, okay. Uh, uh... I got hurt from a paratoad, whatever it is. <coughs> Antidote herbs. Oh yeah, I should probably figure out how to do the crafting stuff. Alright, so crafting... I can turn... Auto crafting on. Yeah. Oh, so I need so oh, I see, I see, I see. I need to collect enough of the sheet. Right. Oh, what? What's this? There's a question mark. A flower bed question mark. Ooh. Is das. Sun bloom, a flower from the ancient forest. We're just like. 
picking up shit. You found yeah. found me a nice item, uh, meow stuff. But that's not you're not. Oh, what's, what what are you? Hello. Wait, what? Wait, how did you get up? It wouldn't let me up. I just got like a prompt or something. I, no, I shot the prong at it as well, but it wouldn't let me get it up. Giggity. Uh. Alright. Where the f Bug, do we find Patchy Patchy? Is there like a uh, quest thing? It's probably like a side quest. What's that? Vigor Wasp? No. Mining art crop. Mine trap. Jagraz. And there's always raining. There's always when? It's always raining. <laughs> True. Uh, Where the fuck am I supposed to go to find these things? It says Hunter Pookie Pookie, but it doesn't say where I'm supposed to go to do that. Uh, you need to find clues. Like, uh, for Oh, decayed car carcass with a question mark on it. Versus dust. Ooh. Hello. Ah. Okay, okay. I think I'm getting it, understanding it a little bit better now. I only find the wrong yeah, footprints. Uh. Well, I've got I've I've got um, it locked onto an, a uh, question mark enemy, so I assume that's going to be it. I'm look, searching for old footprints and hey, there's stuff up here. Oh, there's a on the iron ore. Ooh. I found an anjant for mucus. I don't think that's what I'm looking for then. I'm supposed to be looking nope. for a pu pukey pukey. Oh well. Uh. 
I don't remember where that is. <laughs> Look, we're on the map. That thing is. Malachite or noise. There's an X mark here. X mark? On my map. It's crossing. Oh, is there where uh, that one monster is going? It's not that one we are hunting, though. Nah. Oh, wait. Hold on. What's that? What is this? I'm, like, looking at something. It's like a pig. I think a I found a pig. Yeah. A moss wine, whatever that is. And I'm riding it. Uh, why am I riding a pig? I'm, I'm riding a mm. pig. What? I see no cops there. Oh, you made that kind of pig. Okay. Yeah, there's a fucking pig there that I just jumped on. I was thinking about the police. I know I'm very based. Oh, ah, I got a shaman. I oh, killed it. Yeah, I want to see what I can get from him. You get hide. Ooh, a moss wine hide. Whoa, hello, what's that? Ice. Got him! Ha ha! <laughs> I mounted him. Nice. Nice, the big. I don't guy. think this is what we're supposed to kill, but. <laughs> oh, it's not. <laughs> oh, and I fell off. Hey, come back here. I guess we're just gonna chase that thing until it comes back. Until we find the other thing. Yeah.
What the hell was that thing flying? What is, what is that? Ah. Uh, Ow. Ah. Doesn't like me jumping on him. It doesn't like me at all. Where are you, dude? There's two of them, okay. <laughs> I wounded it, apparently. Nice. Put away the fucking weapon. I wounded it. He will uh, don't like me at all. No, he doesn't. He doesn't like us. Ah! Uh. Oh, he's fucking running away again, like a bitch. Come on! I wounded it! What the fuck? Oh fucking hell. Whoa, I can't even see what's going on.
What the fuck is going on? Why can't I move? Oh, I'm like inflicted with something. Ah. My luck on this all over the place. <laughs> The fuck is that? That's my question too. <laughs> uh. I don't even know where the Pookie Pookie is. We're probably gonna fail this mission if we can't find it, that's the thing. Yeah, but I don't think I end the timer. <laughs> Fuck. How did it get up? How did it get like away like that? Uh, oh, it's got oh, a skull it's on it. Dead, it's almost yeah. dead. It's almost dead as well. We need to go upstairs somehow. Uh, I'm not sure where I'm going. I'll just go. Me neither. <laughs> Uh, I seem to be going down further instead of up. Get downwards. Ah, it's a way over here. How do I get up? Where is he hiding though? Ah, uh, huh. You should be above me. Nice, over there. How do I get there? Ah, the map in this game is so confusing. I think it's slow. I think I found it. Almost. I think I found him. Yep. I think I'm on the right track. Interesting fighting you guys. Whoa! Fucking what the fuck just happened there? What happened? I have no idea. On the monster we are looking for, by the way. What? Yeah. Oh, it's that thing. Oh, fucking hell! I'm, I'm, I'm. Ah. Fuck. He's angry. Yeah. 
Ah, I got poisoned. They say I have an antidote. Ah! I'm so close to killing the damn thing. He's got death symbols around him. to loot that. I know I didn't need to kill that thing, but I wanted to. Because it killed me before. Asshole. Alright. Yay! Alright, um... Now, where's the other thing? Alright, there we go. Uh, at me. Uh... And it's flying away. Do 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 da 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 da. Uh, are you coming? I'm trying. I don't know where I'm supposed to be coming. Oh, this is. This way? What's, what's, what's this? Holy shit. Don't care about the Jagras. Hey, I'm coming. I got some honey. Ah. Oh, and it and it did. <laughs> yeah. I did I it. Did most of I it. did it all by myself. <laughs> yeah, sure. I did it myself. We got the Jaggers as well, so... Fuck yeah. Yeah, a lot of loot. Yay! Ooh. Oh, oh wow, tail oh. comes off as well. Yeah. Ten seconds. Smoke nut. Wow. And we are done with this mission. Woo! I think I can make the next level of the Defender Sword now. Fuck yeah. I'm getting myself creep while the cut screen cuts in loads. Uh, I need to go to the toilet for a second. <laughs> okay. Ah. 
Zero faints. Fuck yeah. Yay! We got... <laughs> we got whatever, like, that was. Right, I need to head to work very shortly. <sighs> You've done well. Listen up. Time to begin the Elder Dragon investigation. Yay. So you know what you need to do. So now Ooh. we need to protect the scholars. Let's regroup at the Wildspire Waste. <laughs> Ugh, my neck. Yay! Smitty! There you are, Fiber. Ooh, we got the Puke! Just a weird fucking thing. Oh, there's my share, I think. And there's the, there's the Anja stuff as well. <laughs> It's just a bra. Huh. Lol. Wait, so that's it? Anjanath. So apparently this stuff is uh, pretty beefy. For what it is. Because currently I've got... Oh my gosh. That is pretty beefy. The one I've got at the moment. Oh, wait, they're all defensive 50. Holy shit. They all are? I can make the Defender Sword 2. Yeah, yes. That's nice. And I can refund materials if I want to. That's pretty sick. Mm. That's a fire weapon. I like the the explosive weapon to be honest. Poison blade. Yeah, the defender one is definitely the the weapon of choice for now. For me. Well, I change the weapons all the time. <laughs> I still want this, though. In any case, I need to call that a day for me. Yeah, it's kind of late for me. Too. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for taking part. And uh, yeah, um, I hope I'll see if I uh, how much time I have today to set up my VR because I might do that uh, for tomorrow. Um, play some VR games. That sounds pretty fun. Uh, otherwise, though, uh, until then, I will. 
catch you tomorrow, I guess. Take care of yourselves, take care of yourselves, and take care of everyone else. Or, like, someone else. Not everyone else. Just take care of yourselves. If you can. Alright. Bye for now. Bye-bye, bye-bye.